Yo, 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 what's good, what's happening, we back, brand new episode of the Black Tacos of the Culture, it's your boy Chris J, got Cam on here, yo, real sad here, friend he don't get a heart attack mid-podcast, <laughs> Y'all hear me calling from Elizabeth. That's why I got the orange juice to wash it down, bro. We all good. That's more acidic, but go for it. <laughs> like, that ain't helping. That man, go, that man gonna hop on the toilet. Or gonna go, Ugh. But no, I am using orange juice for that though. But um, what's poppin'? Yeah, we all here. We out here. DC still on uh family hiatus. Yeah, <laughs> his it. training arc. Literally, he's on a training arc. So, but DC might be back next week because based on them early One Piece spoilers, we're going to have to talk about it on the pod. We may have to talk about it over here. So, we'll see. But either way, we here. We out here doing things. Let's go ahead and get right into it uh, with what's cracking. Uh, on the anime side, this week was pretty much ass, and we're just going to breeze through it. So, let's get the best out the way, and then we go down from there. Tokyo Revengers has been was pretty good this week. Last week's episode I didn't really care for, honestly. It was a setup episode. But uh, this week's episode was really freaking good. I really don't remember what happened last week besides confirming that Kazutoro is just a dumbass outright. And Takamichi too. Takamichi's always a dumbass, so that's that's expected. That that's just kinda expected now. Uh so I, I think that's the really the gist of last week's episode. Am right? It's stupidity. Yeah, because it was like the one thing, the only thing that bugged me about last week's episode was like the whole, like they made it seem like Takamichi was trying to do something in order to prevent what happens on Bloody Halloween from happening. But in the course of that episode, I don't think he changed anything. At it's all. more like he was just a bystander. And I mean, you can see the results in this week's episode. So it's just like, what the hell are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> Literally. And it's just a confirmation that he doesn't do a lot to change shit. But oh, hold on, hold on, no, no. Because it's a, it. All right. So this is when the Crunchyroll comment section has failed me once. If you looked at the comment section for this week's of Tokyo Revenger, it was a lot of cap in them comments. Oh, God. For Takamichi. It was a lot of cap in the comments for Takamichi. The scene where, um, a super brief summary. Basically, they fighting. Animation wasn't anything too astounding for me to go like, holy crap. The moments though were good. Draken yeah, had a really good really moment. A lot of good moments. Um, and Mikey had the best moment out of the entire episode. Like, man's getting beat by a lead pipe. Full Nelson. Leg gripped, getting beat by a by an iron pipe. Literally, Kazutora is like, "Hey, uh, if he's like a hero, is somebody who beats. If if I beat up the bad guys, then I, I'm a hero." Mikey literally gets up from his presumably bludgeoned coma and goes, "Is that why you killed my brother?" Head busts the nigga behind him. Hits the dude who has it. Bear in mind. That these are, they have established that the members of Valhalla are like high schoolers, high schoolers and, and above. Yeah, high like schoolers and above. Near grown men status. Mikey's a middle schooler. Let's establish that. Mikey, with his leg, dude still attached to the leg, perfectly picks him up and freaking kicks Kazutora square in the temple, instantly knocks him out. And that dude who was on his no. leg. That nigga is different, G. He's a fucking Two cheat code. <laughs> Two things. You know, on Three of the Ring podcast, it's a thing that I say when we talk about niggas. Like I used to say God God playing favorites when they created this nigga. Talk about Giannis. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. In that universe, God played favorites when they created when he created Mikey. Second thing. Bruh. <laughs> I got jumped on the same way Mikey did when I was in grade school. But God did not play favorites for me. I got my ass beat. <laughs> Some Lan King females had to pick me up and put me in the back seat. <laughs> I got my ass beat. 
If you listening, to Lad King females, I love y'all. They were smoking a blunt. They asked me, did I want to hit it? Nigga, my lip was busted from the bottom. <laughs> my blunt was two me up. I'm like, Ugh. Yeah, shout out to that. Yeah, but Mikey, I got my ass beat like Mikey did, but I'm, I didn't have no anime moment when they was like, nah, my homies dip. My ass tarnished. Oh, boy. The, Mikey should be dead. Like, really it was not, it wasn't like he was getting, he should be dead. Like, he got hit the same in way the his head got hit. several times by a iron pipe to the point where it made a shape to the impact of his head. He should have ah, been dead. He was he really bleeding from be. his head. He should have been dead. And this man was like, oh, oh, did you kill my brother because of that? And, and just instantly locked him out. <laughs> Like, gee, that nigga Mikey different, but uh, the other but highlights the, of the moment. But the caps, though. Let me get to the cap before yeah, we get to the highlights. That's I, that's because this is not, very important. To, too. <laughs> the, the other highlight, the, well, the other thing that they was talking about. So you remember the moment when Takamichi, when he did this going through the crowd? <laughs> he was windmilling, G. That nigga was windmilling and hitting not yeah, a soul. So, so basically, it was a gang. It was like the, the Bahala gang. On the on one side and the Toman gang on the other side, and like you just see, because Takamichi got his ass beat previously, he knocked like two people out. But then, oh yeah, he, I know, he, right? he, he knocked two people out. He, he, knocked, he actually got some good hits in. It, my man had to come in and tell him like, "Hey, bro, you need to fight because you acting like a little bitch right now." He's like, "Oh, okay." He knocked two people. He got two people out, and then like he got beat beat up. And then Draken, what happens? Because everybody's getting their ass kicked, and Draken was like, "I'm gonna protect all y'all." And then you just see Takamichi because everybody else in the Toma gang was like, I can't do it. I can't fight no more. And you just see, you see Takamichi going, <laughs> and, the, and the crowd parted. And he was like, I'm going to beat all, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to kick all you guys' asses. And then he passes out. <laughs> but the thing is, is that encourages everybody else to get up and fight again. So it was because like they, they in were the like, comment sections, the people goofy. were saying like they were saying like, "Oh, Takamichi, you're so Takamichi is such a well written and well developed character for him to have such an impact." Like, and people were going like, "I hate when people say that Takamichi needs to know how to fight because it's his impact." To you see his impact in that scene. I'm just like, you do realize that this man's goal is to become the head of Toman. He's trying to become the head of a gang, and he don't know how to throw hands. Okay, country roll comment section. I'm gonna let y'all have it. One Look, man, it's so <laughs> easy for the most bitchified nigga in the group to inspire you because you. I can't be a one being a bitch and talking me to you out here swinging. Oh, I, I can't be no bitch. It's it's kind of <laughs> like that too. Let me go ahead and put in some work. And everybody did put in Look, work after that. Shout out to me too. <laughs> I didn't think that nigga was gonna catch a body to like the end of the last episode of the whole entire series. Bro. Oh. Nah, he, he, all in the, no spoilers. He, d his, his hands improve. I do it's, see, I do see a lot of people saying that Takamichi has like at by the end of this arc, like he becomes a a, a badass. I'm, 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 I'm just saying, no, no, not, no, not, not at the end of this arc. No, no, the next arc. So we, which we ain't gonna okay, get to next okay. year. Okay, I'm just saying, do not mislead. Cause your definition of y'all definition of badass and my definition of badass yeah. are two very different and, things. Yeah. So all yeah. I'm gonna say is, is if Takamichi is not, because I'm saying people are like manga readers, especially, and this is like the downfall when it comes to manga versus anime. Because manga people like to hype a lot of shit up. That when it comes to the anime, that should be like, bro, you out of pocket. But all I'm saying is y'all been hyping this y'all been hyping Takamichi up to like have like an insane like character turnaround. If that shit don't play out correctly in the anime, come on y'all. Yeah. Like this arc he does have it's a more it's more of a seriousness, but in terms of badass, we're a couple arcs away, but his first real badass moment comes in the very next arc. If I had to put out there. But, uh, but yeah, overall, decent episode. Oh, Draken is also confirmed to be stronger than Rock Lee. He oh, punched yeah. that nigga. <laughs> he punched a nigga like 50 yards. Yeah, he punched the, <laughs> he punched the nigga from, from the center of the, the, the court Back area to, all to, the like, to, like a, to like the garbage can area. Oh, like, yeah, so Draken <laughs> is stronger he was, than he Rock was blocking, Lee, too. And dude was blocking, too. <laughs> yeah. 
Soon as, I hit, as soon as that punch connected to my chin, I'm like, yo, I'm out for what? Who we fight, man? <laughs> And, this, school, and also, this was Bahala's <laughs> strongest <laughs> dude. This is Bahala's strongest dude, by the way. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So. he's like second in command, yeah, he, and he's a high, high schooler too. He's a grown man, and he yeah, just got punched so, across the screen from a middle schooler. So exactly. So Draken is stronger than Rock Lee. So, but that's it for Tokyo. I mean, Tokyo Revengers. I'm just called this Tokyo Ghoul. But Tokyo Revengers. Uh, the next best thing will probably be Duke and his mate. I ain't watch it yet. And Cam said yeah. it felt like Feller. But I'm pretty sure it's yeah. still better than everything else. Pretty much. You didn't really miss anything. All they did in this episode is trying to find ways to solve his cure. Or not solve his cure. To cure his um, curse. Curse. And so, like, she bought, like, a magic pot that can apparently talk and stuff like that. It, it, that <laughs> part, that scene was really funny. And, so uh... like, it, the episode ended with them, like, getting... In this like Alice in Wonderland book, they end up getting like caught up in it. And in that world, he can touch her and stuff like that. So um, I'm gonna have to take some points off of him because in that situation, because they were both dreaming simultaneously, so they were both aware that they were in a dream and like she could touch him and stuff like that. The only thing is that he couldn't feel anything. Like she she put his hand on on her breast and he was like, "Oh, I can't feel anything." And he was about to kiss her, and then the dream ended. But like. My man, as soon as you felt that you could touch her, even if you can't feel anything, you still do it. For us to live by. Consensually, of course, and respectfully. Oh, um, but yeah, that was pretty much it. You didn't miss it. And then last week's episode, oh, last week's episode was important for plot reasons because yeah. that's when they went to the they went to the witch's uh Sabbath. Yeah, the witch's and Sabbath. Basically, the main witch there was like, Yeah, the witch who cursed you was dead. And she cursed you like with some pretty strong magic so like i don't know how to fix that so you're screwed bye that's pretty much the episode pretty much uh it was funny though how he did save he had his my man's had the, the duke had his moment when he saved alice though yeah because the witches when they found out they were human they were like oh we on y'all ass we on y'all ass so <laughs> it is what it is but yeah, so last week's episode was good. This week's episode was, sounds like it's decent. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the shit that was just let's just get downhill from here. Uh, Sunny Boy. We'll start with Sunny Boy first because that's ahead. like the least offensive one. And I still don't know what's going on. <laughs> Did you watch last week's episode with the ba- baseball stuff? Not yet. Okay. All right. So listen, I'm not, I'm not going to try to go because we got a lot of stuff to talk about. I'm not going to try to hang too much on this. But like basically last week's episode, I... And I, and like I don't want people to go like, well, you just don't the artsy fartsy people to go like, oh, you just don't understand, bro. You gotta look at the deep, bro. Listen, I tried. I honestly tried. I don't understand anything that. All I know is literally the majority of the episode, it was some dude narrating about a full season's worth of monkeys playing baseball, and like that you can't like only certain people can see the monkeys, and that there's a flashlight that allows you to see the monkeys and that there was an issue with the monkey umpire that he only had one arm and that in the last game he made a bad call that resulted in like one of the star monkey players to lose the game the pitcher and so basically at the end of the game all the the monkey audiences went and jumped the umpire and killed him (laughs) and like that was like i was just like okay and then basically the main character has beef with this dude who's supposed to be like he's like he was like an ace in the base because like the main character used to be a part of the baseball club and there's this other dude who's a part of the baseball club and he's like like a prodigy basically but he can't do anything in this world because that world doesn't care about you playing baseball but basically it's found out that the main character, well, we found this out later, but like it's fully found out that the main character has the power to travel into different worlds at whim. And so he's like, if I win at a baseball game, you get one inning. And if you manage to pitch one of my uh, pitches, if you want to hit, if you're willing to hit one of my pitches, I won't bother you anymore and I'll let you see the monkeys. And if you lose, you got to get us out of this world. I know, stupid shit, right? Uh, but it's supposed to be deep for some reason. Uh, but basically, at the end of the day, it's some like narcissistic college thesis lesson about how 
the umpire, how we got to feel bad for the umpire because he loved the sport of baseball. He made the right call and that the monkeys killed baseball for some reason. Uh, main character loses. And at the end, he's like, OK, you need to transport us out this world. People gather on the beach. He starts he starts transporting them to worlds, but he's unable to get to the original world. And then that's when um, their teacher uh, comes out of nowhere. Freaking. Got boobs that might put Alice's boobs to shame. And she's like, well, I came here because you guys suck. And then in this week's episode. Um, basically, the main character is going through a bunch of different worlds. Um, the teacher has basically revealed to herself that like she came here because God told her to come here and like you got to be like you guys suck and that you somebody used their powers to place you here because you guys had powers before you came into this world. Um, and the main they're blaming the main character because it's like, oh, you you have the power to transport between worlds. So it's your fault we're here. And then it's revealed that, no, it's not his fault because the episode in which the island burned down and they somehow got to an island that wasn't burned down, they found out that his power is not transporting them into worlds, but in fact, he has the power to create worlds. So, there. And then, yeah. I forgot how the... <laughs> What's going on? I, I, it's, it's, it's getting to a point now, like at first I was intrigued, but now it's like this show to me is borderline pretentious. I don't know. I, I just, it's like really hoity toity. I attended a cloud, I, t- I attended one college thesis class and now I think I know everything about the world type of thing. So we'll see what happens next week. That was it for Sunny Boy. Um, remake. No, no, no. I'm saving that for last. Uh, cause that was the most offensive. Uh, girlfriend, girlfriend. Um, last week. Last week's uh, episode was hilarious. <laughs> what, happened, what happened last? That was the one where he saved her from the dad, right? Yeah, her dad. Her, yeah, so okay, shorty. Yeah. So the blonde girl's dad. Well, for one, they they finally were trying to get the blonde the blonde girl out the out the yard, and they pretty much pawned her shit, her tent, grill, all of that pawned computer, camera, all of that pawned her shit. And uh, Naya was trying to distract her. He was doing a lot of random stuff. Oh, that's what when she screamed rape. <laughs> she screamed rape. Yeah. And, and all the people was like. Eh. That part was weird. And then Naya kept saying, I'm not a two timer, which was, you know, he just kept publicly saying, I'm not a, I'm, I'm, I'm already a two timer. I'm not trying to be a three timer. I'm like, look, man, be like Mike. Yeah, she was. <laughs> like Mike. She said, Stop it. You're molesting me. You're raping me. Yeah. And people see that, and then I'm um, yes, and then he lets go, and then he goes like out loud. So, this is the conversation that the strangers are hearing in public Stop it, you're raping me, you're molesting me. He lets go, then he goes, then he like holds her again, and he goes like, I don't care. And then people are walking, and then as soon as he says that, I don't care if I'm a two timing asshole or whatever, and then that's when. They People go like, react. What, what did he say? What did he say? And it's like, huh? So, I mean, but here's the thing. A comment, a comment section put this in the perfect way for Girlfriend, Girlfriend. That show is the best show to really reinforce um, natural selection. And for those who don't know what natural selection is, um, what natural selection right is a COVID. process <laughs> in which basically, so think of, um, think of like a prey and predator like think of like a um a herd of gazette gazettes right and let's say a lion is stalking the gazettes right now instinctively that lion is going to go for the weakest link it's not going to go for the head of the pack the one that's strong that's leading them it's going to go for the stragglers the ones that's leading behind that's natural selection kill off the weak so the strong survive and so on and so forth right so girlfriend, girlfriend is the same application for brain cells in which girlfriend, girlfriend kills off because your brain is a storage device, right? It houses a lot of memories that you have, the good, the bad, and the ugly. 
So girlfriend, girlfriend is the perfect thing to watch if you want to kill off some of those memories that like are like damn. Like say for instance you did something really stupid, right? That's your that's your weakest link. So you watch that show to kill off that memory and replace it with girlfriend, girlfriend. And then the next week's episode of Girlfriend, Girlfriend, you get to kill off the link that established that memory of Girlfriend, Girlfriend, because that's a weak link, because the show is dumb. So that's my theory. And I think that if that's what the developers or the creators of the show are going for, honestly, it's a great scientific experiment that I think should be justly rewarded. <laughs> hey. so, shout out to that show, man. Never watching it, but shout out to that show. No, uh, it, it, it sucks. It's entertaining, but it sucks. <laughs> Literally, like, I think the last because was it was the was, that was the last the last week's episode was the one where he said, I, "I'm just a two time asshole," right? Yes. So yeah, I I did say because I'm not gonna cap. I did say I'm gonna let y'all know if I laugh. That because that line caught me off guard. It was like getting hooked, right? You get punched out of nowhere and you feel that like because it just came out of nowhere. Like he was just talking normally, and all of a sudden the line was like. Hey, remember, I'm just a two timing asshole. And I was like, oh shit, that's kind of funny. So it's one, four, six, right? Or this, ep- this is episode seven this week. At least for Cam, like, I laughed every episode to this week's episode. So, yeah. So, but. Which means that the natural selection is working on your brain, Chris. Or, hey, and I just have a lower. Kill, a lower it's killing all system. those Amazon uh, delivery things that's what that's why that's Pretty why you're much. laughing <laughs> it's Literally. replacing them with girlfriend, Pretty girlfriend. Much. Don't, let, don't let jeff bezos say that jeff bezos better be happy i'm delivering 95 percent of these packages on time yeah, he you, better know, be you, happy. you you better be happy you boy. better be happy. <laughs> right you better be happy <laughs> have you ever heard of somebody that, that got fired from amazon delivery <laughs> those, yeah. those people exist and Bezos makes more money in like a month than your average Amazon delivery driver will make in like 10 years. Of course, that nigga don't care, bro. Do they ever get fired? I don't, I don't think know. I would see them niggas fired, man. They, it, to me, it personally seems like they just get wiped from existence. <laughs> Who knows? Easily replaced. Remember what happened to them Amazon strikers, bro? They was like, oh, y'all striking against us? We got a line right out there. A whole bunch of people willing to take your place. <laughs> and they get sent to AI units. But, <laughs> but let's move on. Uh, remake. Uh, last week's episode, I watched it. That was the not the college festival. That was was that the college? Uh, no, this is uh, so. This was when they found out that old boy. Oh told, yeah, old boy you know, has a rich girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Yakuza, no, 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 no. The, the, the plot was like, you know, stereotypical. Like, oh, he, he comes from a line himself. of like doctors and shit. Yeah, and it was like, yeah, you, you want to be an artist, nigga? Artists don't make money, so like, we ain't gonna support your college endeavors. And like, so basically, they were like, all right, so we're gonna make a um, a dojin. <clears throat> That's right. They're gonna make a dojin. Uh, of <laughs> yeah. Uh, and make basically, if it, and they said we go, we go, we gonna make a dojin and use that money to uh, pay for your college tuition that's due by like May or something like that. I forgot what the deadline was. So basically, they're doing that, and then the episode ends with um, also the blonde hair chick is getting cucked too because yeah, um, the blue, blue hair, hair chick. shorty is aggressive <laughs> as hell. She ain't she playing is, no games. She, thir- she thirsty for that main character. So blonde hair chick is getting cucked, um, and then the episode ends with like this rich chick who is basically trying to find out where um, the dude was. Comes up to the door, and she's like, "Yeah, that's my fiance." All I'm gonna say is, is if that man don't take that W, he's a freaking clown. <clears throat> and uh, just trying to do the dash. <laughs> he said, "Big suit, nigga." Yeah, hold on, man. I'm out of here, man. But it all alleviates because, like, now I thought that girlfriend, girlfriend was probably gonna be my probably like trash anime of the year award, award, award. but I'm gonna give it to this show now, um, because it, this here's the thing. I know I complain a lot sometimes, and I'm very judgmental. And I criticize a lot when it comes to anime, but there is a very detrimental sin that I do not, I cannot, will not, cannot, and will never tolerate in the existence of shows, and that is a 12 
13 episode series that's not gonna get no season two because this show is not gonna get no season two highly doubt it that says that has the nerve to make a recap episode <laughs> just say just de- just delay it just say that we not gonna release an episode this week all this up but don't get my hopes up especially since i got done watching trash ass girlfriend girlfriend for you to make me go like okay now nah, just watch that trash let me make let me watch something that has some some amount of class to it let me watch we remake our life and then i see episode six recap and i look at the comment sections and people going like hey yo this is it, it was like hey this is a recap episode skip this y'all let don't me watch remind it. you what you just watched last week yeah let me let me remind and the thing is is that that was what majority of the episode was about so i'm like so everything that i've said good about remake our life is is kaput now at this point like it could be the best thing ever going forward but because they committed that sin that irremovable sin worst thing being worse than featuring lolly cons which that show does have a lolly in it i i can that that show is is garbage to me now like that it utterly upsets me the fact that y'all had the nerve to make a recap episode but that's that's it for that sh- shit show yeah so <laughs> yeah i was like i was like cam actually saved me some time on my saturday i was like okay i only even got to click on that cool but uh that's it for anime uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna knock out. Sh- well, no, it's not. We're not no anime. Day trail. Oh, Haikyuu. Oh, yeah, Day Go ahead and get your. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let this one slide, like, cause it's hot. It's about Haikyuu, and I fucking love Haikyuu. So let's go. All right, so you know, so trail. As y'all know, I have to watch. My reason I'm not so vocal on weeklies and when they're talking about it, cause I can't watch anime. Like they can, like Cam designate a day. I really can't do that because I work not on Saturdays, but Saturdays I literally like to just sleep in or play my game and stuff like that. Um, but I have to watch anime while I'm at work because I work from home. But I usually have to do like dub and stuff like that. So now, like since um, I don't really watch the weeklies, I probably watch Tokyo Revengers when I get the chance. And I, I catch up on like uh, a really, really popular one. Say, for instance, if Fire Force is out, I would catch up on that during my time at work or something like that, right? Um, now, cut all that aside. I was like, I asked the guys, like, it put me on the anime to watch while I'm at work because I don't know what I finished before this. Oh, I dropped that fucking Your Eternity show. That shit is. Yeah, you, you got, you said you <laughs> <he> was depressed. <laughs> it was, is it because it's too yeah, sad? It no, was, it's not sad at all. It's fucking boring. Like oh. after the after the little girl died, this shit got real boring. Like oh, really God. fucking boring. Sorry for the spoilers for whoever was gonna watch that. Oh movie. shit. You like, saved me, bro. I'm not about to watch like, that. After show. the little girl died, that shit got boring. The funniest part is watching it dub and watching this nigga shut up talk English. He was like, I don't know my name. My <laughs> name is it's like you if you wanna like look that shit up. Like he he's like an entity, so he's not human or anything. He transforms into a human and they tried to make that nigga speak. And he was like, I don't know my name. Thank you. <laughs> Cause the first word he learned was thank you, because oh that little girl that eventually fucking died, uh gave him a pair. He was like, Thank you. <laughs> Hungry. It's just really fucking weird. But eventually, like, times kept he speak, like, fluent English and shit like that. But, yes, when that little girl died, that shit was sad. The first episode, Deaf Dude, I was like, nigga, he had death marked on him. He was the only nigga there. He was going to die. <laughs> but, um, so, uh, but, so I, I dropped that. I don't remember the, the thing I watched before that. Or after, I don't, oh, Black Lagoon, that was another show I watched. Uh, fans watched a lot of stuff. Um, but Haikyuu. Watch that, right? I'm gonna go real quick. Cause I do want to create a project with Cam in the future and it will involve like Q and some of the other shows that I watch. So if you express in a day trail review, you'll get that in a very, very like far future. Well not far, but you know. Um Q is probably one of the better shows I ever watched. Um now when I gay anime in terms of like what I like, my favorites, and what's good, 
I kind of separate them two, right? So shows like Haikyuu, Your Lie in April, perfection. You know, Four Mile Alchemist Brotherhood, that's why it's number one. I love it, and it's also perfection. Like, they, they go like that. Like, Your Lie in April, Haikyuu, that's perfect. Like, Your Lie in April is a perfect fucking show. Like, I don't think anybody, if you have never watched that shit, watch it. It's a per. You might cry at the end, but it's a perfect fucking show. Haikyuu, nailed that right there in there, bro. Haikyuu, one thing I love about Haikyuu is that the characters don't hate each other. Now, look, in, 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 in kitty anime, you know, oh, I don't like this guy. He's so fucking good. But if you know anything about sports... Competitiveness can make you realize, but competitiveness can trick you to make you think it's hate. No, it's just competition. What yeah. what with, mm-hmm. with Hinata got against um them Kageyama. names Kageyama is not hate towards each other. It's competition. Like Hinata said, I want to be the one that beat Kageyama. I want to be that. So anytime Kageyama gets up there, I want to be right there with him because I want to beat this nigga. Or when they like the setups that they do in that fucking show. The fucking setups, bro. Like that nigga he needed to told um Ushi what whatever his name is. Ushi Ushi whatever. Oh, Real Ushi. nigga. That's my nigga. He <laughs> told that nigga, he was like, he was like, you know, y'all niggas dirt and stuff to me. He was like, nigga, I'm Hinata. <laughs> and I'm from the school from the concrete, nigga. And we gonna beat you. He said, we get like, dirt, nigga. <laughs> we get it straight from the mud. <laughs> Top that shit off. He grabbed this nigga got like a 40 inch vert. He grabbed that fucking <laughs> ball one hand and handed it to him. Like nigga, come see me in the finals. Dude. Um but no, it's a really good show. I encourage anybody to watch it. It made my top ten. It probably will make my top four or five. I gotta rearrange my list. My list involves a lot of emotion. So I like oh, super man. super is something that involves emotion. Like we yeah. watch super as a group. So super will never leave like my top five because that super low key helped start the podcast. Like, like the super super is ingrained in me, right? Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Love. Like Naruto can leave like drop down a list from time to time, but my first anime. Shit like that, right? Um, but this show. Or oh, like um, your last April, the first anime to ever make me like legit cry. Um, but this show, it's it's something special, dog. It's perfect. Don't get me wrong. Look, y'all know me. I don't get ratings. This show is perfect. It's perfect. It's, it's, it's pure perfection. I don't see anything. You can. I don't know what motherfuckers to say wrong with this show. Don't think you can blame this country role for making a fucking movie out of a fucking tournament that we barely got to see. Like this show is perfection. If you want to, if you want to say, show me perfection, I'll show you high key. If you want to say, show me the best sports anime, I'll show you high key. I don't give a fuck about anything else. Maybe there's some other good ones. I like that other volume. For now, for anime. now, it's a, it's a good, it's a good gateway. High key is a great gateway to get you to want to watch other sports anime. Right. The only one really worth, the only one really worth watching. The only one, the only two really worth watching is Kuroko No Basket and Slam Dunk. If you want to watch an OG. Uh, it's those so, like, two. I, I Shield think, 21 and Major too. I Shield 21 is good too. Personally, like anything with topic, just because what I like. You know, oh, yeah. What I like in the main character, what I like in shows, if it's taking a different route. Like what I like in the main character, he does tell us that. He didn't tell reminds me of fucking me sometimes, dog. Like, I don't accept being the bitch of the group. Like, I don't want to accept, like, nigga, I want to be that. Like, make me that, like. Or a competitive drive, like that's why I don't play fighting games no more. Cause I'm uber competitive, so like <laughs> I, I, I don't like to lose. If I lose, I'm gonna be like, bro, why the fuck am I losing? Let me get to where I need to go. And also, there's a lot to learn about Hinata and the characteristics of grit. Like he has a grit level that niggas call too fuck. This nigga was a water boy in training, and he yeah. said, as I'm a water boy, I'm gonna learn how to play the game. Came back, came back. Cold. Became a god at receiving, <laughs> dog. <laughs> no, so, like, like I, I love it. I would say the stakes are really, really good. For is it was it season season three for it to be a one, a one game season? Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. And that dog. shit was perfection from one beginning of, to end. One, one of the best. Beautiful. I was sitting. One there. of the best I'm, games. I hope nobody in, in my job in history. Because I think people do. But I would say this. I missed a couple calls watching High Q. I was in this bitch. <laughs> it was. It was. 
perfection. Um, I wanted to go through it fast. In the future, I want to create a show when me and Cam review in depth, probably twenty minutes. Oh episode. my god, bro! Kinda Cause like, I, kinda I like, can talk. Uh, uh, with black type of reviews. No, I want it. I want it not necessarily like that. I kind of want to like how Giggle does it, in which, oh. or like uh, my mom's basement guy does it. Like, yeah, we just you know explain how we just let us. I want to get into that. That will involves me having to get a rig of my own to help Cam out with this shit, but. Be on the lookout because there's a lot of shit that me and Cam got to talk about when it comes to shows and things of that nature and with video games. But IQ would be one of those. I thank y'all for, you know, telling me to watch it. It is amazing. I'm going to buy that jersey. I just got to I got to look up reviews for sizing because you know how Japanese niggas are. Extra, extra <laughs> Japanese size sizing. to get an extra, extra <laughs> large. Extra, extra, extra large. Like, you going to pop up on him? Like that shit will humble me fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but no. Uh, all in all, watch Haiku. You haven't yet. I, I want to talk about it so much more. With this podcast, me, got a lot it's of hard. Time. Not it's hard for me not to say how much I love that show because I I rewatched season two, three, and four this Bro. week. So, so <laughs> is that guy, is that no, it's, damn good? It's really like it's really good. Like I was watching it, and I would be in a party. We'd be playing whatever the fuck we play at a party, right? And I would just come out of nowhere. Man, that nigga Ishiwaka cold as fuck, y'all. Like, oh, <laughs> cold as hell. Like I'm, I'm playing. I'm like, the, I was like, yo, when them twins, when them twins got humbled by Hinata, and, and they got oh, the job, like, you got you got stop, bro. Because I, <laughs> oh my god, bro. Oh, hold on, hold on. Look, G, I'm sorry, that, G. The animation that, for that shit, G. G, no, I'm t- the fact. No, I would say, okay, I would say the top three games would definitely be when they humbled the twins. The twins, Shiro Toizawa. I would say, I say Toizawa is number one. That shit. Yeah, Shiro Toizawa. That, gee. bro. Wait, which no. one is the which one is the one where um the only one Kageyama gets scared of playing against? Oh, uh, the second rematch against Alba High. Yeah, I'm that's the end of shit season right two. There, end of bro. season two. <laughs> I, know, I, know, I know anime. I know the good guy always wins. I thought they was losing that second game, bro. I swear to God, I was like, this shit is. Because they was like, you know, they was like, this is going to be a different game how it used to be, bro. I'm like, bro. So I go I go to Twins, then um, the, the 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 finals game, and then the game against uh, Alba High. Folks. Alba yeah. High. Yeah. Because it was just. When that nigga was hitting them serve aces, bro, and they oh, oh. <laughs> hacking them bitches, bro. But like them three games right there. If you haven't watched, I would say an honorable mention: Neko, Neko, yeah. um, Neko game. That season, that season five. My That's God! Five. Oh, I, I thank God I remember that by saying Neko. And this is the last thing I say on it. Last thing I say on it. IQ has the best training arts in any anime. I don't, want, I don't want no argument. I don't for, want no for argument. Sure. <laughs> for, I, I, for sure, dog. <laughs> for sure. I, I, ain't finna, I ain't finna argue I that, bro. That shit's fire. <laughs> that fucking retreat when they was with Nekuma yep. in the other school. Yeah. That shit was so good. Like, what's my nigga name with the glasses? He became oh, one of my favorite characters. Oh, yeah. Tsukushima is cold, dog. <laughs> the fucking uh, the third year from Nekuma, uh, what you gonna call it, brother? That's my nigga, bro. He was teaching them how to block. Bro, every time I see him, I'm like, that's my nigga, dog. He don't even, you know, he he he, he tells them like we're gonna beat y'all ass next time in the uh in the game against the garbage players, whatever it's fucking called. But he was like, I'm gonna help y'all know how to play volleyball because y'all kind of garbage. So this is how you block. I will say it once. If you want to see a, the best training arc of all time, watch that shit, bro. Everything that happened. In that art, literally, like, cause sometimes people go train arts. Oh, we did this training art to get this nigga power. These niggas literally trained on what they was fucking doing, bro. Like, like this nigga Tsukashima became a fucking god, bro. <laughs> he, became, he became a, became god a defensive god, dog. Uh, he, yo, he was so when he was blocking Ushiwaka, so he was like, yo, yo who, who's this? And then Ushiwaka was like, all right, I'm kind of now, I kind of want to play. But last but not least. When they introduced the only black character in that fucking show. Oh, fucking, oh. <laughs> what the fuck was his name? Oh, Aaron. Aaron, Aaron yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's a nigga. And the nigga was strong as fuck, bro. He was the ace. He was like, bro. He was jumping off the gym. I mean, out the gym. I was like, yo, this show goaded. Because I, I got to 
fucking speed run back to blood, so I got to save my voice for that. But I will say, I have a top 10 full of a, a, a motherfuckers might think I'm a casual how my top 10 look, technically. But I will tell you this right now. My top 10 is made for a reason. A high Q, probably, I got to see if it hit the five, four mark. But I will say this. Out of all my top 10s, a lot of them are not 10 out of 10 animals. Not like Dragon Ball Super is not 10 out of 10 for me. Fucking Naruto, Naruto Belly is fucking seven for me. But. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's but, honesty. But, but High Q, that's a 10 out of 10. I don't shit. Huh, you can argue with your moms. You can argue with your dead great grandma. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, you, can argue, you can argue with the ancestors, my nigga. Hey. 10 out of 10. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, that's it for anime. Let's go ahead. Uh, well, superhero shit. So that's me. So uh, I'm gonna just knock the the quickest one. What if out the way? So what if drop? Whenever Disney start dropping shit now, Wednesday. So oh, it's on. Wednesday? I thought it was Friday for some reason. No, they changed it because uh, Friday's movies. Wednesday is Wednesday is a ser- series. Oh, okay. Yeah, they changed it a couple months ago. But anyway, so first episode of What If the Marvel animated series, they're they're rebranding of the the animated series. First episode was a What If of if Captain America could not get into the take the super super soldier serum, and what if Peggy did it, Peggy Carter. So scenario on this was the uh, the the Germans pulled up to the scene. It was like, nah, nah, we about to take this shit because somebody was rogue and tried to take it. Peggy took the initiative to stop it. They were, and also, uh, what's his name? What's Captain America's real name? Steve Rogers. Steve Rogers got shot. So he <laughs> couldn't go in the machine. Yeah. And then uh, Tony Stark daddy was there. So, which he had a very prominent role in it uh, as comedic relief. So Peggy took the initiative to go up in it, go in the machine because he was like, we got to get somebody in this machine or it's going to be a fail. So Peggy went in there, came up pretty much looking like white Meg the Stallion, uh, tall as shit and all of that. Uh, and they just, from there, they used the course. It's taking place in World War II. So women can't do this. So the general was like, no, we're not about to use you. You're a woman. So, you know, they kept oh, do, doing that. You know, the cliche shit that you get expect. Get it, get it, get it, you men. Get it. Exactly. Get it. Exactly. <laughs> so, eventually, she just went on a mission on her own, did her thug dizzle, went crazy pretty much, um, did her thing. Then she had a, then she saved, uh, was it? Yeah, she saved Bucky and his crew. And all of that for Steve because they went missing or something. So she saved them. Then she had a mission where she had to get the uh, what's the goddamn thing? Then they fought for for the Avengers. Uh, no, not a nuke. That that was a, actually a the uh the one of the Affinity Stones that they fought oh. on Avengers. That Loki oh, had. It, was the, it was the Soul Stone. Not the Soul what? Stone, but that they. <laughs> There we go, Tesseract. Thank you, Dave. Oh, okay. Dave. Yeah, so they uh had to get the Tesseract because I think the uh, Red Skull had it. So she busts to the scene with uh, Bucky and his crew. They get it. So then Tony Stark's daddy uses the Tesseract to make the, Iron, the original Iron Man suit, which is like the Iron Giant looking thing, which Steve mm-hmm. Rogers pilots. So pretty much they go on missions. They just annihilating people. Then eventually the Germans was like, "No, nah, we tired of that shit. We need to get that shit back." They took it. They uh pretty much blew up a train, which took out Steve Rogers and the Iron Giant. Uh, Peggy goes on a mission to uh get 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 the Iron Giant back plus the Tesseract, which she which they do. Which in the case of that, the Red Skull literally broke the Tesseract, which caused the chain reaction of universes breaking or some shit like that. I don't know, and looked like a cracking tentacles was killing everybody in this room <laughs> literally so peggy sacrifices herself to save the save the world and then it ends with her coming back to modern time with uh 
where she sees Samuel Jackson as uh what's his name in yeah Fury. in Nick Fury, and he, she says, "What what time what time is it? What year is this?" And he's like, "And look, it's been like fifty fucking years." So we already know Steve Rogers is probably a pack more than likely. So and no, or, or you know, and I, the, he you know he had a nephew, and then she can date his nephew like he did. Hey, hey. <laughs> so we're gonna get filthy here, no, but it comes full circle. It go that would be hilarious. So that was first episode. Let, what if? Let me know the episode when Spider Man is Doctor Strange. That's the only one I'm really interested in. I'm, yeah, I'll let you know. But like for the first episode, it was okay. I like the animation. Like I'm, I'm a sucker for, uh, cell shaded. shaded. I'm a sucker for it, and the animation quality was pretty good. Like the fight scenes were decent. So, if they can keep up with this animation style, hey, go ahead, be my guest. So it's cool. But for the first episode, it was okay. Uh, next, let's go ahead and get to Titans. So before we get to season three, which is the f- them first three episodes was greatness. But let me just finish off. I'll finish season two. One, all I'm going to say is Deathstroke had them niggas shook. Deathstroke had them niggas shook and was on sight. Had no right to. <laughs> Literally. It's just like how like the cartoon was, how he had them niggas shook on the cartoon. Yeah, Robin fucking had the nightmares. He had that, Robin had PTSD on the cartoon. Yeah, he Robin, he had Robin fighting himself. <laughs> Literally <laughs> beating his own ass. <laughs> and we didn't realize it as kids. We were like, yo, what's going on? But... Nigga. You ain't realize as a kid. Hey, look, man, the look at, as a watching. younger kid, as a younger kid, I was like, yo, this nigga freaking nuts. But either way, moving on. So this nigga Deathstroke just had these niggas shook. Robin went to fucking jail because he needed time away to the point where he was hallucinating seeing Bruce, Bruce Wayne talking to him, which is hilarious. And eventually he just gets he out of jail. To go to jail. Yes. Dick Grayson decided to go to fucking jail because he wanted to isolate himself because he would he couldn't whole responsibility for being a poor leader pretty much didn't he just stay at the crib I talk he to batman did. since batman is like the best person to talk to if you have regrets exactly. like that exactly <laughs> but hey whatever so rob is in jail he was uh and then i guess the, uh he's in jail he, he helped some uh former mexican cartel niggas escape from jail though because they were kind of which was hilarious as hell very hilarious, which led him into solitary confinement. In the midst of all of this, at the same time, uh, the Titans were broken up because they they were mad at Robin because he, he lied to him and shit. So that's why they were like, "Fuck you!" You lied to me. I fucking yeah. hate that excuse. So everybody <laughs> went their separate ways. Raven had a very interesting arc because she went with Donna Troy for some stupid reason, then said, "Fuck you, I'm abandoning you." Uh, and then she met some random girl and who was in an abusive relationship. She Raven ended up killing her abusive boyfriend. It's funny. Uh, in the midst of this, Beast Boy and Superboy were left alone in Titus Tower. <laughs> and Cadmus pulled up to the scene and was like, "Hey, we've been looking for you, Superboy. And hey, you got a friend? Hey, come on, man. We get we taking oh, you can all turn into names. animals and stuff, boy." Beast Boy yeah, doesn't boy. only turns into a tiger, so he's he's still ass. Still oh, he's, tiger, ass. he's Tiger Boy. Yeah, he's Tiger Boy. He's, he does not know how to turn to other animals yet. So, uh, Cadmus pull up to the scene, just take them niggas. Uh, then, what's the motherfucker's name? The most useless heroes on the Titans. Uh, Hawk and Dove. Had, their relationship sucks. Fuck Hawk. It's always gonna fuck that nigga. Shout out the Red Hood. Shout out the fucking Red Hood. We'll get to that shortly. So anyway, fast forwarding. So eventually, Bruce Wayne had to take the initiative to get the Titans back together. Got whoever could listen to him. Had them come to some random diner, black-owned diner in Vegas to link and meet up. Just so like, hey, look, you niggas are tweaking. Superboy and Beast Boy are captured, saved them, and Robin's in jail. So, <laughs> Robin eventually just escapes out of jail on his own because he's fucking, he's... He's Robin. He's, he's Robin. Batman's, and he's Batman's sidekick. Side <laughs> <nigga. laughs> and on top of this, Dick Grayson, so technically the best Robin. So he probably uh, already knew how to escape. He was just there. He just, just, he just there. Did, Exactly. <laughs> he, he finally had his realization of like, okay, 
I get it. He escapes. In the process of this, uh, Starfire and them go back. Um, and then they link back up with everybody. Deathstroke got, must have got win that the Titans were back together. So it was a car full of women. I think it was Raven, Starfire, Donna Troy, Dove, and it was another person. This nigga just literally unloaded on them. <laughs> just like, <"Ew." laughs> he didn't give a fuck. Once again, in this scene, Starfire, who's supposed to just be like, I'm just saying, I'm just like, why does she just evaporate this she man? She gets shot dust? in the arm again. <laughs> so she doesn't do nothing. Robin pulls up as Nightwing. They have a good fight scene. Then uh, Deathstroke's daughter pops up because Jason Ty was being a fucking asshole towards her after decking her down and, and chased her away. So she came back to help <laughs> fight her daddy. And uh, they end up... Jason Ty Loki is an asshole, but we still stand him as red. Exactly. <laughs> so so, uh, Dick, so Night, Nightwing and uh, Deathstroke's daughter fight Deathstroke. They, they end up Killing. Killing. Lazarus pit. Exactly, Deathstroke. He got stabbed in the stomach. Look, they ain't gonna kill anybody. Fuck that, man. Come on. So, so yeah. So, they, so this is season finale. So, they get that done. The rest, the other half of the episode is dedicated to Beast Boy and Superboy pull up to a carnival just raising havoc for no fucking reason. And... This is where everything pisses me off. So Beast Boy gets taken care of easily because he's trash. Raven is helping get him together. Donna Troy fights Superboy, going hand to hand because this is Donna Troy's Wonder Girl, uh, Wonder Girl, or whatever. So Wonder Woman's protege. They having a good fight, and eventually they're like, okay, we gotta save this nigga. So I think they got Raven fix his mind. Nightwing talks to him in his head. He gets it together, saved. So now everybody's safe. So for some odd reason, the carnival, something falls down and some kids was about to die. Donna Troy. And they point out a puddle. And the fact that this thing falling down is electric. Donna Troy (laughs) picks up the thingy. (laughs) Is getting electrocuted by a puddle and his electric beam, whatever, and dies. (laughs) <laughs> so you telling me somebody who her contract was Dr. over bro. Dr. Her Light was, was a villain <laughs> earlier no in, in the she's come back to season 3 they fought Dr. Light earlier in the season Dr. Light is technically shooting beams of death to niggas you survived that encounter a puddle heals her a fucking Amazon for Themyscira, who is Wonder Woman's pro to fucking Jay, and they say, "All right, we just had to kill somebody." If you if you had to kill somebody, you could have fucking killed Hulk. Fuck what that nigga. Huh? <laughs> but she, you said she covered so Lazarus fit, right? Well, she's in. Th- so then it ends with Raven and Raven going with the body of Donna Troy to Themyscira to help get her back to life. So. It is what it is. What? They already confirmed in the trailer that. Wow, a puddle though, dog. Like that's on your resume. It was a puddle. Like, when people look, when people look up like Wonder Girl and her accolades, it's gonna be like NBC's Titan show. She got, she got killed by a puddle. <laughs> Gee, that's your accolade. In a puddle. <laughs> like, come on, man. Like, stupid. So, even, if Tyler said he'll go into more detail how mad he was when he saw it, this was years ago. But anyway, season three starts up. Starts off with a bang. Jason Todd is off them jiggers. He's making jiggers. He's actually making jiggers because he has PTSD when Deathstroke was beating his ass. Damn. So, and it opens with him telling Batman, hey, I've been tracking Joker. I got this nigga dead to rights. I'm about to pull Ooh, up. Under the him. red hood? Okay, okay. No, exactly. Batman tells him, no, wait till I come back. I'll be there in the morning. We'll get him. Nah. So then Jay Ty like, no, nah, well, you know what? Fuck it, man. He's at this amusement park. So I'm about to pull up. You're pulling up on Joker at an amusement park. Don't fuck. So he goes <laughs> up, he ground, goes to the dude. amusement park. Joker literally had like already had a statue of a, a police officer with the smile. 
and Jason Todd was a little shook. And Joker, they didn't even really show Joker, which is the funny part. They just showed the, here the laugh, beats Copyright. that nigga with the crowbar, beats that I'll nigga ass, Gotham. literally beats that nigga ass, and then it goes, then then just goes off screen. Batman sad. Then they just say, "Hey, Robin's dead. Whoop the bam. Jason Todd's dead." So, while after the Titans have a great team up fight, beating up some random, uh, random motherfucker. So, so the Titans go to Gotham, figure out what's going on with Jason Todd to have the funeral. No, no, Dick Grayson goes first, and Barbara Gordon is pretty much because Commissioner Gordon's dead in the series, so she's. She's the commissioner now. She's already crippled. Shout out to the Joker. How the fuck you gonna be a crippled commissioner? Now, I'm all for equal rights for motherfuckers. I don't think that's suits your job, G. They be behind the <laughs> the G, it's even like that on the comments. Yeah, bro. I, 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 it, it, she just didn't do the Oracle thing. Was look, she is she the actual commissioner or is she Oracle? She's she's actual commissioner, not Oracle. Oh. Uh, I know it's I know it some niggas that, that wear flags with blue stripes on the middle of them joints is kinda mad, bro. Oh, boy. Lady, uh, not high only high. she, not only she a woman, but she crippled. <laughs> and look, but so, so pretty much, uh, Batman. Like as soon as Nightwing got there, he already buried uh Dick Grayson, allegedly, and like not already took care of it. <laughs> He's like, nigga, I can't. I, you could have waited. He was like, nope, fuck it. So they have a scene where. Barbara Gordon, because she at, she was Batgirl. They just never in this universe. They just never showed it off. Uh, they just having a moment. Then Barbara Gordon just has a white woman moment and just reads Bruce Wayne as filth. Says, "This is your fault. <laughs> you should have did a better job. You ain't shit." Meanwhile, this Batman in this universe. Does she like Jason Todd or something? No. Oh. She she gets on his ass too. So, uh, she tells Jason Todd like I mean she tells uh. Yeah, she tells uh everybody like y'all ain't shit. But I'm like, motherfucker, you the commissioner of fucking Gotham. Y'all police department sucks. Which is, <laughs> so, which is like, the worst you got a lot of nerve. Ever a superhero and then a the worst officer. thing, Batman already in this universe has horrible mental illness. <laughs> like he's just Damn, mentally just going oh, through this, it. Is this post Bane Batman? <laughs> We don't know what what this Batman been through, but he's been through a lot, <laughs> literally. So, so I think he, then I think Dick Grayson says something to him, and Batman said, "You know what? Went to Arkham and killed Joker with the same crowbar." <laughs> Wait, who? Batman Arkham? killed Joker and Titans. <laughs> they pulled Batman that card. Jo- they <laughs> Batman killed that nigga Joker. At, with the crowbar, at, at, they with the same crowbar. Card? So they didn't show it. They just showed Dick Grayson was asleep. He wake boy, up. They, all you hear is a thud. Boy, that show got some big ass balls. Pause to do something like that, yes. bro. Yes. <laughs> and this is all episode one. This is I gotta, episode I gotta one. I got to respect the, the the ballsiness of that, bro. So what's up? Like they didn't give a like they. I wish they showed it, but. They, all you hear is like Damn. Dick Grayson sleep. All you hear is a thud of the crowbar dropping, and Bruce saying, "I'm done. I did it. It's over with. He's gone. I'm done. I'm you, you're Batman now. This this city's yours. It's your problem. I'm gone." Damn. <laughs> so, hey, I ain't gonna lie. I would love to see a series or or like uh, under the red hood where Batman agrees to fucking kill Joke like. To me, that that kind of made. I kind of want to watch. I kind of want to watch that episode just for that alone. Like, <laughs> gee, just, you could honestly jump into season three, not really miss much, because like honestly. So, so yeah, episode ends with that. The next episode, no, they kind of already kind of teasing that Red Hood is around already in episode one, like at the end of episode one, because people just magically dying and shit. So, uh. Episode two opens with Red Hood, like all the all the uh top gang leaders and criminals of uh, Gotham linking up like so yeah, he killed the Joker. <laughs> so uh are we next? And then they're saying 
I'd be scared as fuck, boy. <laughs> if, if, Batman, if Batman was like, he just broke down and said, I'm just going to kill Joker, his greatest villain. It's like, are we next? And then they also hear rumors that, oh, he quit. So it's like, we don't got to worry about the bat no more. And then so like, they're trying to figure out what's next. And then this is when Red Hood. They just know. Up. Did he announce his, his no, I, quitting to rumors. the world? Like how they know I, he quit? <laughs> I don't It was just like, they heard, it was like, he say, she say type shit with where they were talking. They just know he killed the Joker. So they were a little, you know. So Jason Todd pulls up as Red Hood. This is his first appearance as Red Hood. He has a bag. He tells all of them, y'all don't got to worry about shit. I'm going to protect y'all. I just want 40%. Batman's retired. He pretty much confirmed it to them that Batman's retired because, you know, Jason Todd still kind of, I think he still has intel on what goes on in Wayne Manor. So, he literally <laughs> said, and then he was like, there, some of them were like, hey, we ain't give you shit. Jason Todd pulls out a bag and said, open the bag. And it was a head, bunch of heads in there. He said, that's all y'all number twos. Gone. Damn. Damn. <laughs> gone. <laughs> so it's all your dumb gone. So 40% or not. 40% or not. Juice. I got a drink to that, bro. Hey, nigga, get close to that shit, dude. <laughs> like, that real shit. nigga, G. Like, he pulled that real nigga vibe. So going from there, uh, J- Dick Grayson pretty much summons the Titus to come to Gotham to help him out, figure shit out. Uh,. And then he also tells him, hey, yeah, he's dead. Uh, Jason Todd's dead. They still think he's dead. So, what happens? Uh, so, a lot of shit just happens. They try to figure out the crime. Uh, Starfire mentally is going through problems because her sister's quickly pulling up to the scene. <laughs> quickly. So, I get, so, she's going through it. So, her powers is working on and off. And she's just randomly having moments where she's Does she have Spider-Man 2 syndrome? I don't know. <laughs> Probably. But also, she she just ran... There was a scene where she was randomly just talking to herself, walking through uh, Wayne Manor, just talking to herself in, uh, in her uh, alien language. And it was just like... And niggas just like... Huh. <laughs> like, literally. Uh, and then she has a therapist that's trying to fuck her. And it's just like... I mean, I don't blame him. I don't blame dude. <laughs> I really don't, cause they keep pushing on, like, hey, he might get the pussy, but I'm like, gee, I saw Blackfire kill people. She's going to kill you. She, no, he's probably gonna fuck Blackfire and then get murdered. So hey, that's why I see what's gonna happen. Um, that's my prediction. But Blackfire is after they fix the worst ways to go out situation. Not too bad. Exactly. Hey, the actress that plays Blackfire, hey, the actress that plays Blackfire is beautiful. She's beautiful. So it's like it's worst ways to go out. It's worst ways to go That's, out. It's you, not gonna, what I choose, but I ain't saying it's a bad option. All right. <laughs> if it was, for, if it just so happened to happen, it happened. Exactly. It was a hell of a way to go, and I tell God it be that way. Um, thank you. But so. Starfire is going through it, and Red Hood just out here doing Red Hood things. So he's kidnapping people, and then sending the Titans. He's Red Hood's on some like real better than Riddler type shit of trying to figure out like, hey, here's some riddles, figure this shit out, or I'm gonna kill these people. So he's taking people hostage, blowing them up. He put a cell phone. No, he put a drug in a woman or a cell phone in a woman. She and literally like. Dick Grayson found her, took her to get interrogated because niggas getting blo- niggas blowing up and shit. So also oh, he full on he, just fuck everybody. I'm just supposed to do what I want to do. This is up. this is crazy Red Hood. Yes, <laughs> he's nuts. So he put the toxin that he was working on in this woman, let her get caught, interrogated her. No, let uh that got them and Dick Grayson and them interrogate her. They figure out a phone number that she had on her, engraved on her arm. They call it. She starts shaking and having a freaking conniption or whatever. And then while they call, after they call the number. So I guess like there was a cell phone somewhere in her or something. I don't know. Well, that's some foul shit. This woman couldn't go t- accept the pain. And she literally snapped her own fucking neck. I was like, you know. 
I was like, yo, G, what the hell going on? <laughs> That's core strength, too. You you got to have a lot of strength to just... Like, G, she was like... I was like, okay. This shit's getting crazy. So later on, they figure out... They, they, they kind of get the jump on what's going on with what Red Hood's doing with the kidnappings. So a bank robbery was going on. So Missioner Gordon... She, she said, we got this. Titans pull up like, hold on, we know what's going on here. So, back up. We got this. So, they go in the bank and uh, Dick Grayson like, like, because he's using, Red Hill was using the parents to do robberies and shit or do horrible crimes because he kids were held hostage. So, Dick Grayson like told the people, hey, yeah. we, we got your kids. We know where they are. And then, as I think he had Beast Boy, uh, else uh, looking looking for the kids. And then he looked for another van. Yeah, it was Beast Boy and Connor, so Superboy. Connor looks in another van. He was like, "Hold on, what's these people?" They're like, oh shit, it's the parents. And then the, the guys who were the hostages literally threw like some type of grenade. I don't know. I don't know what type of. It was like a flash. It was like a very in, impact grenade. There we go. It was an impact grenade. Knocked everybody out. Commissioner Gordon was mad because she was like, you let the motherfuckers get away. But I'm like, they found the hostages. What the fuck? Who cares about the money? We found the hostages. People, more people could have died. So she's mad. At, now she's mad at Dick Grayson and Titans now. She's like, fuck y'all. That's in episode two. No, episode two also ends with a, a fight between Red Hood and Robin, which was really good. Really fucking good fight. He, and it just ends with a draw. And then that's when Dick Grayson learns that Jason Todd is alive. Like, yeah, I'm still here. So, uh, but he's beyond redemption at this point, bro. They finna he's gotta, gone. They gotta kill that, 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 that nigga, bro. <laughs> gone. So, episode three, he tells him. He tells him like, "Hey, Jason Todd is here. He's still alive." They check the grave. They try to call Batman. Batman like, "Fuck!" Is it picking up the phone? He's God, like, fuck, <laughs> "Fuck, fuck, Batman, fuck Justice League." <laughs> Fuck all y'all niggas. I'm a rich ass nigga and I'm a lid like that till I die. Batman, I respect I that no Batman. G. Batman ain't picking up the phone for them niggas. So he even checks the grave. He's like, yo, he's not in here. What the hell's going on? So Hawk takes it upon himself. He gets a call from Jason Todd. He goes by himself. Jason Todd tell he's at some YMC, abandoned YMCA. Jason Todd tells oh, his nigga, boy. hey, I gotta make sure you ain't got no wire or nothing. Strip. Strip nigga, the nigga sh- proceed to listen. So he, he listens to him. He listens to this nigga, bro. <laughs> so Yo, he already lost the fight. G. He Yo. tells the nigga dive into the pool. I gotta make sure you're not wired at all. I want to make sure ain't no tracking devices, nothing. And he dives into the pool too. Yes, swims oh, to the other side dumb, of the pool. G. Then Jason this Todd nigga, pulls this up, nigga dumb. pulls up on him, knocks him out. Nigga literally puts a so then. Everybody like, yo, where the fuck is Hank? Where did Hawk go? Nigga, come back Nigga. with a fucking bomb in his chest. A heart, and this, a heart beating bomb. So each time his heart beats, the numbers go down. So, so now they like, what's the, what's the timer at? Did they say? I forgot what the number was. It was a high ass number, but I, it was based also. Then he, uh, Jason Todd messaged uh, Nightwing and told him, you have, I think, twenty four hours. Give me. A certain amount of bricks of gold, or I'm letting that bomb go off. So it was like I think it was like 24 That's hours. Nigga Jason there. Todd, well that so, last pit fucked him. So up. they're trying to figure out. So Dick Grayson, like, okay, I'm not about to get this nigga the gold. No, I'm about to find where he is. I'm gonna figure out where he's at. So he's doing being a detective. Dove, who's Hawk's girl, off and on girlfriend. He, they, she's like, no. We got to figure this out. We got to figure it out. So in the process of this, Dick Grayson also tells Connor, Superboy, hey, make a de- uh, try to make a detonator and all of that because you're the only one fast and capable enough to make it. So literally, that's, so Superboy just literally just most of the episode trying to make, make, the, bomb, make the detonator so, like, so it doesn't explode and he can turn it off. But he wants to make sure it's 100% fail-proof. So like he wanna make sure it doesn't go up like it doesn't fail no matter what. So in the process of this, the so Robin's trying to figure out where he could possibly be at. Shit like that. 
Dove goes ahead and literally robs a fucking armored van. <laughs> like a dumbass. She calls Jason Todd. And oh, and before this, no, and this is this is a prime example. Nigga, if you if you got a heartbeat bomb on your chest, why the fuck you about to have sex? Yeah, or so did have way to sex? Speed up your death, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you waste. That's two hours. <laughs> that's two hours. So anyway, moving on. So that's I think that's what motivated her to really get them armored brick, get them gold bricks. He literally Dick. beats up armored van and does. I'm like, what the fuck? Jason Todd eventually figures out where he is. Connor also was getting really closer to figuring out how to make the detonator 100% fail proof. And so Dove pulls up with the gold bricks. Jason Todd, like, hey, cool. She's like, where the detonator? Right there. So it's a gun. <laughs> the gun, she says, and he tells her, if you want to save him, as I have the detonator in my hand, you have to kill me. <laughs> so she say, let's. Dick Grayson pull up. He like, oh, hell no. Nah. Nope, nope, we're not doing it like this. <laughs> so, so, yeah. So, they, Dove and, and uh, Night, Night Wolf, I mean, Nightwing just fighting, going back and forth over the detonator. She ends up pushing them off. She gets the gun. She shoots the gun. But in the, the process the of this, detonator. in the process of this, <laughs> Connor... Got it. He figured it out. He even said, "Hey, I got it." He so they literally show this. This thing was perfect. It shows Superboy running to the room because he they had him separated just in case he does blow the fuck up. In the night, and this factor, in, I feel bad for Bruce Wayne because he had to fix this. His house is a fucking mess now. But uh, so he he rushes to the room to try to uh det- detonate the bomb safely. She shoots the gun. The nigga, explodes. <laughs> the nigga explodes. The nigga explodes. Dumbass at, dog. At, like you should have figured that out from jump, dog. <laughs> the nigga, G, you don't understand. I was so happy because I don't like this nigga Hulk. He's a bitch ass nigga, G. No way imaginable. <laughs> but the fact that this nigga Red Hood outsmarted them so easily, did, just, and then he walked, like, and then he casually just walked off. Like, all right, mission accomplished. Now she's got to figure that, like. Come on now, dog. What felt, do you have I, to I, pull to make I a really, gun I work? I felt G? bad for like, Superboy because he worked so hard, and then he ran into the explosion. He ran yeah. into the explosion. Uh, he tried to get like, he to get PTSD from that shit. Shout out to that. <laughs> he, he still he still new new to the game, but yeah. But Red Hood has been beating, and this is the first three episodes, and we Red Hood is beating these niggas asses consistently. Again, I love asses. Red Hood, but he has no right. <laughs> He has no right has to do no this right. shit. And, no. and, like, and technically, Jason Todd is still a teenager here. So it's like, yo, come on, bro. But like, he's outsmarted him. Knowledge wise, he's on some Riddler type level shit. Like, he's just outsmarting these niggas. It's just like, hey, man. May, may oh. Batman quit may and Batman kill one of the homies quit. And say, all right, watch this. So. Shout out to shout out to season three because it's it's way better than the first two seasons by loads of levels. But Red Hood is I'm officially standing Red Hood. I know I was already a fan of his work, but this this off the series alone now, I'm a stan. He killed Hulk. He killed that piece of shit, and I'm happy he did. So hey, but uh, that's it for that. Um, we could go through Suicide Squad and. Talk about Suicide Squad. Our thoughts of Suicide Squad. There. Hey man. Yo, shout out to James. Miller. Reason I said this, you know, not because oh Suicide Squad gonna single handedly turn WB. No, no, none of that shit. No hot takes. It's color. Shout out to James Gunn. For oh yeah, it wasn't. Too. It wasn't great. <laughs> it wasn't great. It was shout great. out to James Gunn. Like he watched and it, it. And it was less than four hours. Oh my fucking god, bro! Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Less than four hours. It wasn't great. Most of the scenes got shot in the daytime. It wasn't fucking raining the whole entire time. And it was funny too. And it was fucking funny. But, <laughs> it's all a fucking asshole. That ain't no real. You know, I hate. You see, you see this. It's not just a Marvel hate account. It's a DC hate account. Fuck. It's a fucking fucking 
The Spawn hate account. I fucking hate comic book movies, bro. Or TV shows. Man, nah, I ain't gonna say the animated shit. The animated shit fire. But uh, no, I was watching Suicide Squad. The moment it hit on HBO Max, shout out to them for not hitting me with the oops. Something went wrong with your Oh, service. man. Um, man. <laughs> but it, it went through smoothly. Uh, I was even able to rewind. I want to say this. Don't know which episode it is. But when we first got to, when we first talked about Suicide Squad trailer or whatever, okay. I said this. I said, all them niggas y'all see on that bitch is going to die in the opening scene. And oh, by yeah, God, you did that. I, I do remember that. <laughs> by God, everybody fucking died. It was beautiful. Except for Weasel. Shout out to me, homie Weasel. One this of the funniest characters die. in that show. He had like man, sur- man survived, boy. <laughs> um, I would like to say, like, I would say the gore is good. I like gore in superhero movies and superhero shit regardless. That's why I like the boys. That's why I like um, the Deadpool movies. That's why I like Invincible. The gore is good. But I don't, you know, it can take a long time to break down that movie. But starts off, boom, they on a boat. And one thing I did like is that you know, they kind of gave you like who's these people type thing, but they did it really, really fast. They didn't spend a lot of time on talking about like the characters from the past show. Thank fucking God. I don't give a shit about the lady that owns the Suicide Squad. I don't give a fuck oh, about Harley Quinn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, just keep the movie pace going. Funny ass scene um, of everybody getting their ass absolutely beat. And they focus on this one nigga that you think. I personally thought he'd probably do some raw shit. Yeah, the old dude. Yeah. <laughs> he tried to say Weasel. <laughs> he tried to say Weasel. Weasel is even a top played five. That. Ca- it's a top two character, by the way. Top two. <laughs> Weasel. Yeah, he, he, um, they even played that song at the beginning when they was introduced. Like, uh, when I was just a boy. That's the song that plays when some shit about to go down, bro. And I was like, okay, so he definitely finna do some we shit. We don't even know what the fuck folks' power was, G. That's how, that's how he got I don't know work. either. <laughs> but apparently, a lot of them were like major characters. Yeah. Uh, shout out off. to my boy, uh, Pete Davis' character. And he was oh, like, look, bro, I'm gonna tip y'all off. Like, bro, they blew that nigga down. Uh, Harley Quinn man. had a Crazy amount of plot armor, but it's Harley Quinn. That is fuck. Margot Robbie, they're not gonna kill all. <laughs> and the other nigga, the GI Joe, bro. Yeah, part of oh. But everybody else got absolutely. Hey, shout out to the uh, TDK or whatever all, his name was. All the detachable kids. Yeah. Detachable <laughs> kids. <laughs> TDK, TDK, bro. Oh, TDK. <laughs> that shit's stupid. Mongo, oh, Lady Mongo. Lady Mongo went out like a G, but she got. Fucked, dog. She got hopped on that crash. Everybody got absolutely bombasted, and then you find out on the other side. And it was the other side. I was like, bro, this, I was like, Amanda Waller is a send off, G. Like, and they and they went absolutely crazy. Um, the, just the the I will say this: the MVP. There's a couple of MVPs, right? But I will say John Cena. Surprised the fuck out of me. Oh, yes. he did really good. Yes, yes. Really. <laughs> really like, good. I see this corn. All right. Now look, when I say something corny, it's fucking corny. Like, it's but, corny. That, but that's how he made his money. That's how he made his career. So but you know. him acting as peacekeeper, he did an absolutely job. Some of the one line has hit really, really fucking well. He once he became I'm gonna be right you back, know when he talking. became at the end, it, it came off really fucking good. Um so he did a really good job of fucking being peacekeeper. Idris Alba did a really good job of fucking, but I love Idris Oh, Bloodsport, yeah. yeah. Love Idris Alba in this movie. Um, the rat girl, cool. Uh, G.I. Joe, bro, straight. King Shark is a fucking shark. Mad as hell he, he did not say that line in the movie. I was too, <laughs> but uh, I love, they played him dumb. The fact that he's just numb, numb. No, nah, you can't eat that, bro. He, come on, fam. I just like how he was so gullible. Like the scene when um the rat catcher chick when she was walking up to him, like, uh, you wouldn't eat your friends, right? Like I thought, <laughs> I thought he was gonna like freak. It's like it's gonna be like a moment of silence, and then he was actually gonna freaking eat her like on some funny shit, like kill her off. And I was like, oh damn! But the fact that he actually went along with, it, he was like. Friend, I was like, <laughs> so no, 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 he was in the club and that nigga was stuck in the car. He just had to bob his head to the yeah. 
Like that, like I love pointless shit like that, bro. Like pointless shit like that makes the fucking movie to me. One, Rat Girl and her fucking scene with rats freaked me out the first part when she brought all them fucking like like uh I think extra said fucking oh no, that was Bean. She said in a party. He was like, yo, whatever fucking Central America place they got, they got a fucking horrible rap problem. I mean, to be honest, <laughs> I would, you would expect the same amount if she would have did that shit in Chicago. Yes. So, in New York. Rats just, <laughs> New York, just boy, superhero man. Um, but no, seriously, I think uh, the, so as they in the one, this movie, so fucking fast paced, but it was a good fast pace. Yeah. Like they just, the fucking when Blood, Sport, and Peacekeeper oh, had my a God. fucking contest. They was murking niggas, dog. <laughs> like, they was murking. That was the the best example of a good payoff scene. Because I'm just like, they just going through killing them. And I'm like, they're not, there's like not real resistance. Like people yeah. taking showers and stuff like that. <laughs> and then you just see old, you see Rick Flag in the tent with old girl. And he, she like, and he like, what, what are you doing? It's like. Those are the members of the resistance that's trying to usurp the government. <laughs> Bro, yo, I don't <laughs> play the you can tell probably it took them a while to recast that scene and do that scene and shit like that. Because if I was active, I just would have been laughing the whole time. I'm gonna kill <laughs> people. <laughs> Bro, he's just doing home. this and this. Yeah. Freaking, freaking uh, Peacemaker shot that thing. He was like, uh, then Bloodsport was like, well, that's not as effective. He's like, Oh, um, something I forgot. Some kind of detonation thing, yeah. and the freaking dude just exploded out of nowhere. He was like, "Damn, yeah, that's cool." <laughs> you saw some dude woke up, got shot in the dick, bro. That's just like a lot of that was really good, very comedic. Um, I do also like now. Imagine Margaret Robbie is worth all of the fucking money. Like any money that she says she needs, she's fucking worth it. Just like yeah. Scarlett Johansson, not Gail Gadot, because you know. But <laughs> um, used used to used to <laughs> but, um, like she's what so but I do like how this movie was not really focused on her until the fucking end and it worked really really well especially that scene when since, she was just spearing niggas was cold yeah. she, <laughs> like, especially since Peacekeeper is going to get his own show which I am so fucking hyped for yeah now now that I've seen the movie it's like yeah. all right. <laughs> so Peacekeeper's gonna get his own show. So they did a good job of showcasing Peacekeeper and stuff like that. Um now, uh as they get to the they you know, they did like a they felt like the brandy had to do it at a club. Um so they end up taking them and things of that nature. Uh but then we I think we focused really more on Harley Quinn and yeah. those niggas like I guess it was like just to move the plot along because I didn't get they fucking killed them birds. I was like, I can't wait to eat you one of these niggas die, bro. Why the <laughs> fuck they killed them birds? They, they, kill they burnt them birds. With, 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 Chris, she had sex. Him. When she had he oh, burnt them birds. What'd you say? There you go. Never again. Yeah, I say he freaking barbecued them birds. G. Bro, it's no funny reason. though, because it's like the the cage made it seem like they could just fly out. They were small enough to fly out, but I guess. Fucking birds, they, man. Them <laughs> birds saw fire. They shit if they saw they 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 <laughs> But that scene when Harley killed old boy after they just had sex, and she was saying, like, she was like, I, I've been told to look out for red flags. But she did it. And she did it all of a sudden. Kids. Like, he was just talking about, like, the, his regime and stuff like that. All of a sudden, she's a pal. And then he just on the floor, just trying to, like, screw and stuff. She's like, I'm sorry. She was like, and she was saying something about, like, his pack. I'm like, damn, bro, this shit is stupid. <laughs> like, uh, but as they got the. I think they they did like okay Harley Quinn did her shit then they did like a thing to try to go save her yeah so like, I'm all good and it was like what so oh, then she up- come out she's like oh my god you guys are trying to save me I'll go back in if you want me to <laughs> I was like <laughs> <laughs> so oh yeah Polka Dot Man is a part of the team but we'll get to that nigga later his mom stuff was funny to me but, oh Dog yeah was funny. hilarious G shit was G. funny um <laughs> but like uh the uh they, so they got to the place where Starro, and if you didn't know Starro was the real big bad, he's the real big bad. We learned out that the American government, like they always do, did this shit and tried to cover it up, woody, woody, woody. Some of the most funniest shit happened in this fucking building. And mind yeah. you, what I'm talking about, 
is that fat nigga that was with him with them? What the fuck is his name, G? What the fuck is his name, bro? Esteban? No, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. It, was, it started with an M. It started with an M, dog. I know who you're talking about. Because oh, I was like, I was like, why is this nigga following him, G? Like, why is he still? <laughs> he, 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 he was there since the club scene. Yeah, I, that's why I was like, why is this nigga still accompanying him, G? Like, it's having no, to go. Like, hold on, hold on. Like, dog, what was my man's name? He even had, because he still had, like, a grocery bag with him, dog, like, the whole time. I was like, like, his sole reason was to just drive them, and he just... He drive them, like, drive them to the club, I think. He just, just take them to the club to, to get the, uh, the professor, nigga. <laughs> what the hell is his name? I know it started with an M, dog, because I, I, they had... Cause they had more, that, is it? They had, no. like, Harley Quinn had this long-ass conversation uh with polka dot man and they was like i can't believe you forgot about who he was like i don't know i don't know anybody like this oh that shit milton was milton man. there we go milton milton milton, yeah. milton. that's his day g milton yes, was freaking bro. look that was <laughs> look g milton well milton got shot folks <laughs> and polka dot man was like milton no and the article was like who's milton who, who's milton <laughs> And then, <laughs> see, like, so, G, he was putting the bombs on the thing whatever. Yeah. Like, when they went through the smoke for the superhero scene, he was fucking right there, bro. The Milton shit had my fucking eyes balled. And then Idris was like, he's like, Milton? He's like, why the hell is he still with us? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so when Milton got popped, oh. um, you know, that's when shit really started going crazy. So Starro end up killing like the brain so peacekeeper oh peacekeeping um gi joe guy had a fight because peacekeeper so peacekeeper had a sad mission like he knew what was going on but he yeah. was to make sure this shit gets stopped um and uh that nigga was like no my country can't be like this woody 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 woo so i'm gonna tell everybody and peacekeeper was like yeah you're gonna have to talk to god about that and he like what <laughs> keep it killed that nigga um Rat catcher saw it, so peacekeeper become bad number two. Um, like, so peacekeeper, oh, you gotta die. You know, chasing rat girl across. I would say sidetrack the rat girl backstory, though it was shot beautifully. I can give a fuck less. Uh, I didn't the care. Motherfuckers slept with rats for covers, dog. That shit blew my mind because that I started itching for the rest of the day, bro. Just imagine a bunch of fucking rats keeping you warm. Do you know rats? But their hands got skin like we do. So you just not all feel the fur. You feel a little cold ass palms on your skin too. Like what the fuck? Bro? It just felt like it felt like one of those, like whenever you have like a superhero movie and it involves like the you kid. You gotta have a backstory. It's and the, no, like the, the innocent kid type of character yeah. that has a sad backstory that basically, you know, you got the hard grunting, like it'll just elba character, like, oh, I, I don't I don't care about y'all, blah blah blah. And it's like but I'm, but I got a sad backstory, so you should care about me. He's like, okay, I, I care say, about you. <laughs> I would say, I was uh, ready to slander this podcast if her rat died, bro. If her fucking rat. Oh rat yeah. Because the rat was like, the rat was like this. <laughs> like, hey, he's what's like, what's the rat doing? He's trying to say hey to you. <laughs> then the, the interest ever would say hey. And he was like, bro, the rat, like, come on, bro, what the fuck, dude? And no, the, the cool. fact that the rat was just trying to consistently be friends with Idris Elba for the entire bro, movie. He was like, I fucking, don't like rats. At the fucking bar, the rat. He was like, what you mean? Get the rat a drink. And the rat was yeah. like, I need, I need my drink too. <laughs> oh, bro, the shit. Like, yo, just so just some, some funny, like, it's not, bro, like, you know, I would say this, bro. Deadpool 1 is a classic. But Deadpool 2, I didn't laugh as much as Deadpool 2 than mm, I did yeah. the Suicide Squad. Yeah, Deadpool 2. Oh, yeah, Suicide fucking seriously. Squad 2, bro. I fucking damn near laughed almost every little scene. I'm like, this shit just fucking funny, dog. Hey, it's, I'm not it's trying hilarious. To, and this thing, like, bro, y'all know me. I'm not like an overly gritty critic, but I'm also not no fucking meathead. I'm not trying to be bored. I will cut some shit off. There was multiple times in the Snyder Cut, if we didn't have this podcast, it would not be finished, my nigga. So, like, I will cut some stuff off. I force myself through that shit, bro. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> I, I, um, Suicide Squad 2 was funny, but towards the end, um, Starro got released. Um, like I said, G.I. Joe got dies. Um, but now the build is coming out. King Shark, just funny-ass banter, 
end up getting this. What? That nigga got the endurance and involved man. in fucking Superman, bro. Yeah, he don't got no. He definitely don't got no endurance of a shark. <laughs> like <laughs> that <laughs> that a shark got shot at, got eaten by these fucking cannibal things. Fucking Starro sent that nigga to fucking. King you know, like, yeah. you know what's funny is that like I was watching. Shout out to Ryan George. He does the uh, pitch meetings. Yeah. He did a pitch. He did a pitch meeting for this. He was like, and and then the dude was like, yeah. So King Shark, like you know, he falls. He's he's getting shot at by like multiple machine guns. He was like, so I have a question. He's like, what? How did they get the um the needle that has the bomb on him if his skin is so endurable? <laughs> I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> Part of it ain't probably because King Shark a dumbass. Because in the first scene, this nigga got an upside down book. He read. He like King Shark smart. Like this nigga, I'm telling you, bro. I don't care what. I don't care if we don't never see Superman or Batman again on the silver screen, bro. I need more King Shark. Content. Every iteration, except for that fucking horrible series called The Flash on CW. Every oh iteration God. of King Shark has been spot on, G. Fucking on! You got the Harley Quinn King Shark, who's fucking hilarious as well. You're voiced by a black man. Then we got the fucking Justice League King Shark. Oh, King Justice Shark. League Dark. <laughs> when he said, when he was like, "You were a great friend," he was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> he went to Harley. Harley was like, "Yo, we about to die at all this." He came, he, he touched Charlie on the head. Like, King Shark is a shark. <laughs> Harley <laughs> grabs him, like, like, bro. Like King Shark is amazing. Uh, in this show, King Shark did like when the army niggas came to him, like num num. King Shark just absolutely just start eating motherfuckers, <laughs> eating the dog shit out of niggas, bro. <laughs> That's my nigga, G. Um, the building Milton dies. By the way, after Milton dies, the building collapses. RP my nigga Milton, bro. Polka Dot Man was so fucking furious. He's like, why y'all ain't remember this nigga, man? And then the Milton joke comes towards the end, which is hilarious as well too. Um. And then Milton dies, so Starro gets released. Oh, and no, so before that, before that, remember, Peacekeeper, yeah, Peacekeeper and, uh, dies. Peacekeeper and... Uh, but now he doesn't die. Yeah, Peacekeeper Blood Sport. and uh, Bloodsport get into a battle. Uh, it wasn't really a battle. Bloodsport shoots this nigga. And this is a good, that was a good payoff, though. Yeah, good there payoff was a scene. scene in the forest when uh, uh, Peacekeeper won the, the, the killing of the niggas. And they're like, he asked him, like, why would you do that? He was like, smaller bullets. So Bloodsport shot that nigga. He like, how did you get it in my neck? He, smaller bullets. So yeah. <laughs> uh, Peacekeeper, I mean, Bloodsport wins. Peacekeeper out the paint. They got the hard draft in which Bloodsport's keep the blackmail uh, Wallace towards the end. Um, but Starro breaks out. As Starro breaks out, which was, which one? Okay, fuck Rat Girl story. Starro backstory is fucking horrible because he literally said he, so he was like, bro, I was, I was just watching the stars, G. And y'all did this to me, bro. I was like, that shit did sad, you just bro. did you just make me feel? Did you just make me feel? to the screen to the pitch meetings because he, he was, was like, just he was like, did you just make me feel sympathetic towards the villain? <laughs> I was like, fuck, like, that shit kind of sad. <laughs> uh, but they fight. Star- well, well Starro takes control. One Starro, you know, shout out to my nigga Rob from Comics Explained. Beyond Omega level Starro. This nigga just started taking over that whole entire city, bro. And and and, and my bro, bro, like the <laughs> fact that it instantly kills you when it latches yeah. onto your head and bro, like and control and he can talk through it and shit like that. But Starro, they do that. So shout out to the Suicide Squad being fucking beyond Omega level fighting Starro. Um they fight him throughout the city. And then the Wallace like, no, come back. Uh or you know, we'll this is not your fault. Uh come back so we can, you know, woody woody woo. They beat the dog shit out of Amanda Wallace in the office. Yeah, <laughs> bro, when they, they LG. <laughs> when that black lady hit her ass, I was like, "Oh shit!" You know, you know, Viola Davis got a bag for that scene, right? Yeah. They was like, "Oh, you you hurt me on screen." Man, shout out to Viola Davis. She always do a good job. Um, but they fight Starro. Really good fight scene. Shout out to the rat saving the day. Um, Harley Quinn finally. Find out the purpose for the, oh, the javelin. Yeah, that shit was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> um, the rats do the ultimate kill thing, which is really fucking cool. Uh, cause low key rat girl was low key useless other than playing a little sister out the group. Um, OP as hell though in the right situations. <laughs> um, what happens? Oh, so they kill Starro. Starro says, "Bro, I was watching the stars. Y'all grabbed me." 
Woody Woo. That I, I'm still kind of like, bro, that shit kind of sad, bro. Yeah, bro I was this just happy. Wa- I was just happy watching the stars. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, but he dies. Um, so they say the day. Harley Quinn says, "We did it, Milton." To each his album. Yeah. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm not Milton. I'm not Milton. Who is Milton then? Oh, polka dot nigga dies. Oh, it's you, me hey. oh but so bogus, <laughs> G. Hey, polka dot man died. And it's fucked up because his mom got the last laugh. G. Yeah, G. That was so fucked up. He, because low key, he was putting in work. He was like, "All right, I'm gonna send my polka dots." He was like, "Yeah, take that, mom. Take that." Crush. I was like, I, I did not see polka dot man dying. Like, I was like, "Oh, he ain't down to open the scene. Oh, he here for all." Yeah, yes, yeah, more. Uh, I Shark stayed alive. Another King Shark bit every damn body he pointed. He no, no. No, that's not no, <laughs> no, 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 no. So he couldn't eat the dead bodies and shit like that. All in fucking all. Uh, wait, no. Towards the end, we get an end credit scene. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Remember the scene when uh the 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 main rat jumps on Idris Elba. And he actually pet. Oh, <laughs> pet yeah, he <laughs> Good story development. Look, bro. Good character development right there, bro. <laughs> Man, um, very that rat was one of my favorite kids. Shit was, I hate to say a rat scene was fucking cute, but they made the animal cute. Um, so each is Elba say, if you don't free us, uh, we will send this to every so she he blackmailed Amanda. No, he says, even if you kill, even if you kill us, it's uploaded so that as soon as you kill us, it'll just be exposed. So he, so his daughter will never go to jail, too. Shout out to his daughter, cameo. Uh, she's in Daya's sister that's not a crackhead in um, Euphoria. So shout out to Huff again, a nice and powerful Ooh, superhero movie bag. DC oh. HBO bag. <laughs> yeah. Hey, HBO niggas, bro, I'm telling you, HBO niggas stick together, bro. <laughs> um, but uh, but so towards the end, we found out Peacekeeper is alive. Uh, so that leads up to his series. What? Exactly. <laughs> and Weasel. All, and look, Weasel survived. Suicide Squad was fun. That's all you look. This bro, is a fun movie. I liked it. You like, this is the thing about superhero movies that I just need people to understand, bro. Look, y'all ain't gonna win no Oscar, dog. Look, Toy Story couldn't even win an Oscar. And they try a lot. No, they win animated Oscars, but they will never win a best picture. If your movie and ain't about, a lot. <laughs> about finding music, <laughs> discovering yourself, or slavery, some, something, slavery, black struggles, <laughs> being gay, or LG, something LGBTQ community. You, if it don't involve those five things, yeah, bro, you ain't look. So ain't winning. you don't have to be Oscar bait, right? Like Joker in the right setting was good, right? Because it, it created this. Oh, it was a different take. It was a, it was a, it was a depressing take on like becoming a villain. Was the Oscar bait a fucking course? Oh, shit. but Hell it was yeah. a really good superhero, well, super villain movie. But everything don't have to be fucking serious. When I'm watching Wonder Woman, I don't have to hear a fucking four stage choir every time she come on the screen, right? I give a fuck. Or, <laughs> you know, Marvel does a good job in keeping their shit fun as well. But when I'm watching Endgame and not the Infinity War beginning, when I watch Endgame, half of that shit is like, oh, who are you fucking around? I just so want to see. Out. Yeah, I want to see good shit. Next, you know, if the next Deadpool rated R, I don't care or not, because you can be funny without being rated R. Deadpool kind of has to be ready, y'all. Don't, don't make it serious. Like, it was a fun watch. Just sit two hours of just me laughing and realizing. I, I didn't care know. about the, the continuity or what this oh, adds to Superman or Batman. I, I was like. I don't know who the fuck was the, the villain nigga's name in that country. I don't know who the fuck they were. Who gives a shit? Like, it was a good watch. Like, um, I have a very unhealthy stand for King Shark now, right? He's up. To, he's about to see a King Shark in the shark with fucking uh, Funko Pop Goku. So, so like, there's that's all I need, bro. I just need something very nice, something very chill that you know I can laugh at and not feel like I just watch four hours of waiting for Iron Man to come save me, bro. Like, it's all good. So, hopefully, we get more Shang Chi shit looking like about to be like a disaster because some people coming out. Somebody said it was an experiment. Somebody said it wasn't an experiment. Now the actor being like, "Oh, bro, we gonna break, we gonna break records, my nigga, you ain't gonna break records." So- nah, bro, you Shang Chi, you Shang Chi. <laughs> no one, and I mean no one, who's a Marvel fan or a superhero comic book fan is bro, going like, "Yo, Shang Chi." How many? Like that movie comes out next month. How many? I thought the. Many- I thought the movie came out this month. That's how much like I don't care. Like I was literally like, oh, isn't this movie supposed to come out this month? And I was like, oh, it's coming out in September. 
Look, how many, my thing is, how many trailers have y'all seen? I've seen two. I've seen one. all the trailers. I think I saw like two. I in the theaters, in the theaters low-key play the same trailer. So I've seen one. So it's scary. Like, I mean, I like, I see one. Like, I only seen the trailer once. Like, I didn't ever see, I don't see it on YouTube. Bro, if you watch Twitch that you now sub to, they give you eight advertisements. None of them is that fucking trailer. So hopefully that movie, I don't want to wish bad nothing on nobody, but I'm glad to see I was able to enjoy a, a WB superhero movie. Next oh my up God, man. Is, um, <laughs> Live next action. up is Batman. Oh, the Batman with yeah, the, the Batman. Uh, like hopefully Batman. It, it does good. I'm hoping for Robert Pattinson to do a really great job as Batman. I'm just tired of but, seeing this nigga's parents die in the alley. Yeah, he, they, they about to definitely get smoked. I think they said, <laughs> they, I, I believe they <laughs> said they're not touching pop. that. I think huh? they said this Batman's already established. No, but this this is young Bruce Wayne. So they definitely about I feel, to I feel like I feel like it's going to be in line where they'd be like, why do you yeah. do this? And it's like, well, because of my flashback scene. Yeah, he's definitely in the middle of the movie going to talk about why he, why he died. It's just the way it is, bro. My parents died in the alley. You better man. hope you don't run a nigga and be like, hey, Martha Stewart. And he's like, Martha? Martha? My mama name was Martha. <laughs> <It's a> flashback. <laughs> it was like, God. But no, uh, I think the next, yeah, I think the next WB hero movie is The Batman. And then after that, like nobody knows what's next. I heard Batman. a rumor. It's, it's, it's the uh, Michael B. Jordan Oh um, yeah! Oh, they confirmed and, um, with the Superman stuff. Uh, uh, and Black Adam. Black Adam is in the Black Adam's tech. I think Black Adam might be coming out first. No, the ba- the Don of the Batman is. Uh, oh okay. That's that's coming out. That's probably coming out later this year or early next year. No, that's that's okay. next year. They that, that ain't, that ain't this year for sure. I'm positive. Well, well, shit. I don't need to look. I'm up. positive, but I know it's soon. I know it's on the horizon. As the, I think that's the next. Like Black Adam ain't Black Adam got a summer release date. Like 2022, oh, yeah. so, I think but we haven't uh, seen nothing, absolutely we, nothing in work. But that stuff is not good. That stuff is not coming out. It, that stuff getting delayed. G, that <laughs> stuff just, is getting delayed. You said Rock said he almost <laughs> finished up filming. I'm like, nigga, y'all just thought about this shit over some coffee, bro. Like, like that's, that's 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 20. That's that stuff is not coming out summer 22. I have not seen an inkling of a of nothing besides <laughs> oh, Rock saying they got another shit coming out too. Um. Yeah, I know Shazam. That's oh, not yeah. Black Adam. That's separate from Black Adam. Aquaman Adam. too. Aquaman and Flash. Oh yeah, Aquaman yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, Fl- oh that- yeah, Flash. I think Flash just wrapped up filming as well too. Uh, so that's probably an editor. Uh, and Ben Affleck is still Batman in that. I don't know what the fuck they're gonna do with this universe, bro. Because Ben Affleck's still Batman. Hey, I just... thought he get. And, and we can. And the, the Witcher haven't even came out yet, so we don't know what the fuck other folks doing. Um, but oh, like, to end the conversation on it, because I don't know if we got to slander some shit later. But um, thank you, Suicide Squad, for making me laugh. That's all I ask for. I'm not picky. Yep. And don't give me a backstory when they don't need to. I don't give a fuck. I skip that shit in anime. I don't, I don't be knowing nothing about nobody care. Fuck them. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I'm mad that you didn't have the, so what are we, some kind of Suicide Squad line? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my bad. R.I.P. Boomerang. He died the most. Oh, the yeah. Time. Gee, but they oh did my, my they did my man work. birdie dirty G. He of a super important character when it comes to Suicide Squad. They immediately smoked my man's. Gee, <laughs> he had no his time. boomerang in the sky like this. <laughs> like, his oh, boomerang design that. looked really cool too. I was like, hey, okay, I can see you going places, dead. Nope, dead immediately. Oh, but yeah. <laughs> uh, What's next, Chris? You could do uh, your back for blood. Your quick impressions on that or. Yo, if you ain't got a bunch of friends playing Back for Blood with you, don't buy the game by yourself because you will not have fun. Uh, it is not something that's worth. And this is what a lot of people say: it's not worth sixty dollars. I think uh, PVE. It's games, sixty dollars. Yes, PVE games. Yeah, you, I, we better be looking. It's not like a next gen exclusive because they definitely would have threw a seventy dollars. Yeah, they would have definitely threw a seventy ball on that. But, but PVE, I'm in the if PVE is your only thing. Or, um, and you're not like an established franchise, right? We love Left 4 Dead, both series. They're not established, like, they're, they're, they're cult classics, you know what I mean? Like, there's something that we I love. think Left 4 Dead came out of like $25. Yeah, so, like, so these are, and it's like a valid, it's a PC game. I don't know all that stuff they go into it. But, like, you know, you're not an established series. You can't get away with EA, like, EA got Battlefield coming out, no story mode, no nothing, and say, 
70 or 60 dollars, my nigga. You can't get away with shit. <laughs> like it's EA. Like they they do. You know, somebody gonna buy. You you ain't you ain't that right. People are gonna buy your game, yes, but I don't think it's worth sixty dollars whatsoever. I played with Dom. Me and Dom was a little bit bored. One that game on hard is fucking. I mean that game on easy is fucking hard. Like it's not like something that you could just run through. Like you can chase me. What the fuck is? Oh, that's the light. I was like, bro, do I got a part in my head? But no, um, there's um. Like so many things that because you only one that's so this like that's not a beta. You give me one act, dog. At least give me like two. If you give me one act, that means your story mode is short as fuck, and your replayability is us Ooh, playing that shit on yeah, on yeah. extreme legendary mode, right? Or waiting for DLC. So, but if you give me one act, you go through the act. You know, shit kind of easy. Uh, this is what I'm not a fan of. They have a stamina gauge. I want to shoot somebody, bro. For running, <laughs> for running? Dying, yes, they have a stamina gauge for running. Like Dying Light has that, but Dying Light covers it up with parkour and a zip line that you can use. So you running, like you're not supposed to be just running a straight line and down. Like you're supposed to be hopping from roof to roof, slide on your zip line, shit like that, or fighting, right? In Back for Blood, you run in a straight line. So there's a stamina. So if you're getting chased by a butt fuck ton of zombies. You either have to have a, like a stamina card or you fucked. There's a mission in the beta in which you was on a boat and the boat has to blow up. You have a stamina gauge and the boat blows up in 50 minutes. Now this is, I mean, 50 seconds or something like that. Now this is not a tugboat. This is not a, this is a fucking yacht and I had to go through the basement all the way back up, jump off the boat to get on the highway. I died a couple of times. My homies that I play with I escaped. I watched them blow up. You know, you know, beat the thing. Um, that ain't my fault. They the game created that. Now, the car system. A lot of people were, were skeptical about that. It works, especially because the game. Like I said, this game is not fucking easy because you think the car system makes you overpower or in some type of way for you to be like, oh, my cars are better than yours. If you got good cards. The game has it too. So the game has, I forget what they call, but it's like opposition cards. So it makes your game harder. So say for instance, one card is um, uh, if you uh, if you alert the crows, I think you have, if you alert the crows, the horde stays after you for the whole chapter. The horde whoops your ass. So that's when they just chasing you nonstop. Mm. So if you alert the horde, they're going to keep coming nonstop. So it has times where you could be like, I'm playing with my homies and stuff is being fun, but it's not worth it's not worth sixty dollars, right? You know what I'm saying? It's not worth something like Hades. Hades is a fucking I hate I'm sorry because I got the Hades high right now. But Hades is a game that costs what thirty dollars? Cost yeah. it cost me twenty five dollars on a switch. You know, I will pay sixty dollars for Hades. It's that fucking good. Like, like it, it has that much replayability for it being a roguelike. This and an indie game. Yeah, this it's like I can see what you're doing. There's there's not the same flair in Left 4 Dead that this, this is a little bit more cartoony than Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead made you feel like oh, there's a, sometimes Left 4 Dead used to be scary. Like if you were oh, in the dark, true. if you were in the dark and you hear a fucking witch, and you hear that, la, 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 and then the bitch starts screaming, and then you just getting chased and stuff like that. Left 4 Dead is a that you can't remake a class. You, the only how you can have that same love for a classic if you re like remake that shit is something. Like you hey, good luck, good to, luck with that, because Valve ain't letting that shit happen. <laughs> so fucking, like, like Left 4 Dead is amazing, right? It ain't Left 4 Dead. A lot of the like the zombies are not like <laughs> like I remember Left 4 Dead when like and the shit didn't really happen. Like I saw a couple zombies come after me. But it wasn't like how left, like the some explode and get on you, and then one will probably like hit you with a big arm. But you play a left for dead, and you walking with your group, and a horror come out, a charger smack your other homie, take them all the way to the other side of the room, and then you get choked up by a jockey, and then somebody getting took over by the smoke nigga. Like that shit right there, you beat it, and next thing you know, it's a fucking tank, fucking running buckshot all over your group. That shit made for good gameplay. And with mods too. Oh my god, come on, bro! Like Back for Blood, it ain't that. It ain't that whatsoever. Um, 
I'm not gonna call it a bad game, but it's not amazing. It do not deserve the Pooh Shiesty the theme. You remember I was, <laughs> I was like, hey, come on, Pooh Shiesty, get on that back for blood, and then you get the you get the Pooh Shiesty skin when you beat the game or something like that. Like, no, nah, I don't deserve that. It, it's not. It's not. You know, I don't. Damn. You know, nah, it's not. But um, I would definitely say if you know in the future when we, when we and me and Ken review on games. We would say, you know, buy it, wait for sale, or skip. I would definitely say, or wait, wait for, for PlayStation sale. Plus. Or wait for PlayStation Plus. That's, <laughs> that's the lows of the low, damn next, next to skip. <laughs> but um, I would definitely say, um, if you got on Xbox Game Pass, take take advantage yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, basically. Um, if somebody, you know, buy the game for you. But but Hades is on Game Pass too, so you got something. To <laughs> uh, but no, like seriously, um, definitely wait for a sale. PlayStation will definitely put this bitch on sale. Probably around holidays it comes out. Yeah, oh, it definitely. Come, Black Friday is gonna be a holiday. Yeah, it probably it'll probably be on sale in October because Halloween. So definitely look out for it around that time. Um, uh, and definitely t- take advantage, but don't buy this game at full. It's not worth full price. Even the, like the guys on the PlayStation party, like me and other Cam, look for games to play. Right, I'm thinking about starting a fucking YouTube series of me and him just playing fucking games. It should be funny. We both said nah. Like we we actually thought, and we didn't do it because we're not fucking retards. But we actually thought of buying Saints Row the Third Remaster before buying that shit, bro. That's no cap. Oh my, we was like maybe Saints Row the Third Remaster, and he was like, nah, let's not do that. We just wait for it again, boy. <laughs> like that's how bad it is, bro. Um, that is no cap. Um, so definitely, it's 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 doo doo, not doo doo, but it's little caca. Um, but that's back to the Lord. All right. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. I had to let Look. this knees out. Corona. But anyway, hey, I'm, hey, I rebuke that. But anyway, let's get into news. We're going to breeze through news. And I already know, I think we got a universal clown. We're just going to make that universal clown at the end of news. Uh, first things first, Tim Drake, and while we talked about Robbins, is bisexual. <laughs> hey, and niggas, yo, yo, yo. People... Are stupid, and I want to. I want to. People look, bro. People over exaggerated this because they thought the main universe Tim Drake is gay. This is an iteration, they literally said an iteration of Tim Drake. I mean, it's like some it's side stuff. comic stuff that yeah. y'all not even. It's like, like the people who mad at y'all niggas don't even read this stuff, so why y'all mad? <laughs> They're like, what's next, Captain America? I'm gonna keep it book. I can see Captain America being there's, gay. there's probably be some it, there's probably <laughs> some other I'm t- it's probably some Captain America out there right now in some iteration that's gay like with Bucky so I wouldn't no, be surprised I'm about to say, fucking deal. Bucky ain't a straight name gay <laughs> that right now Bucky <laughs> it's a whole town called Bucktown in Chicago you think it's not the main nigga in that name not Bucky bro you think it's not oh boy nah, <laughs> so what's that bro yeah, so Muggs is mad. Uh, then we have Netflix announced that JoJo Stone Ocean uh, hey. is confirmed. We got a trailer, and Netflix has exclusive rights. But I, they have said that it will be a worldwide release, so we don't have to be Oh, I'm going to let y'all now. know. <laughs> Shaman King just came out this week. Really? I have not watched a single episode. I, I'll probably, I'll probably figure it out. You know, I, I, I heard I people, I heard people say it's like not that good. Oh, no um, man, like, I, 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 will, <laughs> I will, I will, I will watch it then. I, I still take the. I never got to see it. the original Shaman King. That's the only reason I want to watch it. But uh, no, I'm, I'm definitely, I'll probably do a, a JoJo binge next to definitely catch up. Sorrow shit. It's like damn, why oh. Netflix, man? Hey, they about to bro. You think? Look, G. In one hand. We don't have to wait week to week to watch the whole series. And the other hand, you won't get the, you know, the... It was, it's, it's like conflicting message. It's like some people saying that, like, it's going to no, be week to bro, week. Netflix some never did that saying, Netflix never made anything weekly. And I don't think they're going to make the exception for JoJo. Netflix yeah. never made... Oh, shocked. okay. So, well, I'll, I'll the, but the, the worst do. thing is I'll say this. When, as soon as JoJo drops on Netflix, I will say for people who don't want spoilers... Freaking go on Twitter, go on YouTube and type up the little restrictions that like allow you not to see people's posts. Filter everything out that has anything related to JoJo because you go get niggas hour one, minute one, 
already talking about the final episode of the series. And as somebody who's read the manga, not all of part six, but the ending of part six, specifically in relations to <laughs> JoJo series, when I tell you it is of the, if y'all were mad about part five's ending, all I'm going to say is part six is going to have some very heated discussions. Very heated discussions. It's one of them. It's one of them like fuck damn nigga. Type. It's one of them damn nigga type. And it's like either you absolutely love it because of the future implications of the series or you absolutely hate it because of the future implications of the series. So I would say filter everything out that has anything to do with Jojo. If all the episodes are coming out. Oh, um, I'm definitely not gonna watch all them bitches in one day. I I, I will right. I'll definitely I'll definitely binge it when I got the chance. But yeah. I'm not gonna watch all of I'm, de- I'm not gonna watch all of them. But you already know them thirsty anime YouTubers, freaking Instagram. So, like so, them niggas gonna be thirsty for them spoilers. G. And then also since so since I think the first I think JoJo Part One and Two was already on Netflix, but I think people are speculating that since. Uh, the original JoJo, I mean JoJo, you know Star Ocean is gonna be on there. That they're gonna put all of JoJo on Netflix. Mm-hmm. If they do, I'm gonna keep it real. Funimation and Crunchyroll better be happy they do go out for it. Because if they somehow can get the whole collection of JoJo and just start from there, just like let's start getting more shit or like let's buy Viz Media or something like that. They can become a force in yeah. this anime shit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> especially, especially if it's something like JoJo Part Six is already like one of the hypest things that are coming yeah. is coming out this year because it's fucking JoJo. But the fact that not only is it coming out, but all episodes are available day one, so I ain't gotta wait yeah. three months or something to see everything. I can just if I have the time, I can just one to end. And people go like, hey, listen, future stuff come out. Like if they go like, hey, we got Attack on Titan, the second core, exclusively on Netflix. All of it available Yo, day one. Attack on Titan exclusively for Netflix will break that fucking app, bro. Twitter will blow up. All I, episodes I, available day one. Man. <laughs> Knowing Netflix dubbed in sub because they fuck with you like that, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> I can't Even be mad at that it. Netflix, I can't be mad at it. That Netflix dub be nasty sometimes. That's a story for a different hey, day. Shout out to niggas who watching uh Seven Daily Sins still, bro. That, that anime fell off the face of the Sick Negroes up. right there. Uh, it deserves to it. Put that nigga in the dirt. Netflix, put that nigga in the dirt. Let's go. It, that's exclusive on Netflix? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I think yeah. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. I, yes. That's one of that like that was one of the first major oh, anime to be exclusive. Oh yeah, it is exclusive on yeah. That was one of the first, the first <laughs> ones. Netflix is like, bro. What's the animation budget? Well, you better go tell Tom to draw this shit. Like, well, I, got- I, our animation budget is going to Castlevania. That's it. None right. else. <laughs> All of the day, bro. What's next? So, next, uh, GTA, the tr- GTA PS2 trilogy remaster confirmed, which will be okay, running off the Unreal, the Unreal engine. Second. This is where you really need to rock, slender rock style. Not because of oh, the remake is taking over GTA 6. So this is this is this is about to be one of the most corporate greed things you ever about to hear come out of my mouth. So I learned this shit yesterday. So no, I learned this shit today. So the GTA Five upgrade on the PS Five to just to so people they, for it to justify like buying that they was going to include the remastered trilogy in that for free. Oh, so but, like what they like they did with like Infinite Warfare and that Call of Duty remaster shit. They yeah, but they was like fuck it. Let's just sell the trilogy. <laughs> Let's just sell the trilogy separate. That fucking company is so fucking greedy, bro. So is it is it a is it a remake? Like they're it's like a, re- no, it's not. A or remake. is it just a, a like an HD? It's an HD so remaster. They say it's going to be done on the Unreal Engine, but it's going to use new graphics and old, but it's still going to have that same PS2 feel. Some shit like that. So but, AKA. We too lazy to make this shit actually remake. 4K, 4K, <laughs> you know what I'm right. saying? Like, I don't think, like, a lot of people don't know, and Chris can content, tell you that, that fucking port for the original PS3 San Andreas was dog shit. 
So, like, it was absolute dog shit, bro. The phone was ass, too. <laughs> that was the... Cam, uh, that was the part! <laughs> that was the part! <laughs> they outright... I read an interview. No, I read an interview where they said the PS3 port was the mobile port. They, <laughs> hey, they finesse niggas. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't I don't know Chris you did replay uh GTA San Andreas on your PS4, on the PS4. So I, I, I replayed it on all systems. So cuz I'm a bitch. So <laughs> 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 But also but also it doesn't help that I the only PS2 game I still own is the OG San Andreas that has the hot coffee shit on there. If I was to finesse it, so like literally, if I I could literally get money off this shit if I really wanted to, but I want to so, keep it. So you got the unpatched shit. You got yes, the you put too I have the OG. In, you throw I the have launch. Uh, so so um, I can't so play like, it. No, so um, not gonna lie. When the remaster come out, I never played Vice City, so I'll play Vice City. I'm not um, getting that shit, bro. I I will. No, that's it. If it's sixty fucking dollars. Lick my nuts that that from the back, dog. I'm not getting that. What? So, is it, what is it? Is it three? What three? Yeah, by City three, and three, uh, by San Andreas. City and San yes. I barely played three. I never beat. Vice City was player. okay to me, and San Andreas is a classic. But it's one of them games that I cannot replay for the life of me. I can. Okay. I can replay San Andreas in. The, I can replay same. San Andreas in a sitting. Me too, Chris. Like just like he said, he a bit, so he already did. <laughs> I literally San Andreas is probably the one it's, game no matter yeah, what I will replay a thousand like, fucking times. I still I can still do I can still L1 R2 but no it's L1 L2 R1 uh, left left right R1 down, R2 R2 L1 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 but three, three is like mm, nah. three. Three is decent. Yo, go look at three and a non HD remake. That game is it's fucking ugly. ugly. That Dog next ass. game is some ugly ass games, bro. Like, I played a little bit of three and I was like, three this ain't it, cheese. Three is actually <laughs> pretty motion, fun. Motion blur too, it's bro. just yeah. Like, three is fun. Vice like, City, City is fucking ugly as well. I don't. Vice City is very like, ugly. But uh, it's just Vice City's more of the vibe. My main yeah. issue with Vice City and the reason why I couldn't finish that replay. When I try it, that aiming and camera is so fucking dangerous. You don't it it, it you can't finish shit, especially later uh-huh. on in the game. If they don't fix the aiming, I, I defeats the purpose. They not fixing nothing, so boy. People, they, so they some people are saying if this does well, I, I'm gonna tell y'all niggas right now that the the five niggas that love GTA 4 don't expect this to even get a remake. The five niggas that love that game, tell them the reason it's never re- fucking getting fucking remade is because the goddamn cars drive like a Crown Vic. Chris's old Cadillac. Every yes. car drives like Chris's old Cadillac. Yes. So <laughs> even if you want a fucking motorcycle, it drives like Chris's old Cadillac. And no one wants to go bowling. And no one wants to go fucking bowling. But and no one wants to be depressed in New York City with Nico and his fucked up cousin and his drug addict friends. <laughs> but um. They said that Red Dead One could potentially get a, a remaster as well, which will, with the success of Red Dead Two, sell a shit ton for people who never played Red Dead One. Um, and so look, Rockstar, look, us in this podcast, we gonna shit on you, but we'll never ever tell you, hey, don't fumble. You fucked up for fumbling the bag. Yeah, they never fumble the bag. They got that they shit never, juggling. They that's never fumble the bag. They never fumble. They juggling, they juggling the bag. Dude. <laughs> like they do what they gotta do. They are about to fucking like I I'm s so, I love GTA five story so much. And I wanna see. But the fact that they telling me that the upgrade I gotta pay full price, I wants to hurt somebody. Good. Like what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I'm good, bro. Like what the <laughs> fuck? The the ray tracing shit is so good, bro. It's some of the best shit that I've ever seen on game. It looks absolutely beautiful, but I'm good. Like, uh, I, I, I'm. St- What's next, Chris? Uh, so pretty much, I think this is our universal clown, and also we just ha- just also wrap this episode up because gee, we- fucking long. But we got a clown, and it's a universal clown, and we know who the fuck it is, and it is Hunter Hunter fans slash Hunter Hunter as a whole. 
because they're going one fucking thousand days, G. One thousand days. They try to play the fucking music so we get that copyright strike, man. Got the song. What the fuck just happened? Bro, what just happened, bro? Bro, oh man, my fucking internet went out. Bro, what the fuck? Bro, what the fuck? I was just disappointed in you. And it's like, I'm looking at this man's po profile picture and I'm already, oh, like, yeah. I'm not taking it seriously, G. <laughs> Yeah, come on. He got Gerald from fucking Hey Arnold. That's how yeah, you know like, you. Bro, you the token black guy. Out your it's, it's got, and it's got, it's got, got, got that nigga to Gerald. Like, you, you got, you got skin killed, my nigga. You, you got you got two moderators on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's almost over, bro. It's hey, almost man. over. Hey, man. I don't care. I did what, what I was Hardy, supposed to do. What Jeff Hardy thing? I see the writing on the wall. <laughs> No, nah, but um, this nigga who said this goofy, that's how you know you know it in that bitch. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Hey. hey, hey, niggas mad because I spoke the truth. Niggas just mad because I spoke the truth, bro. Wait, what and was your what was your original post? So what what was so the original post itself was niggas saying how can Hunter Hunter be the goat if the anime ain't finished? And all I said was I see no fucking lies. How can it be the goat if <laughs> The, if the writer says I don't want to finish this shit and then somebody said the anime's finished no I fucking finish yeah it, it, the anime was as finished as the bleach anime <laughs> exactly I'm like, that's what I said so I literally told somebody that bleach is not even fucking wasn't finished and niggas don't put bleach as the goat niggas just love bleach at least I respect those people at least they're like look man we know and most niggas know the full bring arc is ass it's like, hey, but fuck Hunter Hunter fans, G. You know what it is. That's why y'all shit is a thousand days and running, bro. My and man no cashed time the soon. grand on. He cashed the grand on his hiatus, G. That nigga literally he cashed, cashed the, the grand. grand on that nigga hiatus. literally said, "Look, bro, it has been years, and I haven't picked up the pen yet." I'll, I I keep telling y'all, and I'm gonna keep saying this so the cows go home. Them Sailor Moon checks. Dragon Quest, uh, Dragon Quest Eleven, in the uh, anime. There's a the Dragon Quest anime going on. Dra Dragon Quest anime, uh, Sailor Moon checks the fact that because Dragon Quest last year, because remember, like, uh, Togashi comes from confirmed like on the OG Dragon Quest Eleven, he had like hundreds of hours. Dragon Quest had a whole new game, like Dragon Quest Eleven S or something like that, like expansion to the original game so you already know he playing that in full and they already confirmed dragon quest 12 coming out and they said it's probably gonna be one of the darkest dragon quest games to date you let me tell you hunter hunter fans the closest y'all go ever get to ever seeing what hunter hunter is gonna be like or is go in is if you get an xbox series x get a playstation get a switch and you download Dragon Quest XI. That's the closest you're going to get to, to, to finding out what the story, the characters, and the ending of that bitch going to be like, bro. Because you ain't getting that. You're not getting no chapter no time soon. This man has has yet the the, the latest Hunter Hunter news y'all got is that they are opening up a, uh, what, what what's that, what's the thing called? Them, them trap rooms? The uh, uh, escape, escape, room. Room? escape yeah. rooms. That's the latest news y'all got in Hunter Hunter is the voice actors confirming that they are doing a Hunter Hunter theme escape room. It's the last bit of news y'all got for that series, G. It's over. It's Bro. a wrap, G. Within a thousand, within that thousand days, Togashi confirmed a uh, Yu Yu Hakusho OVA, and it came out. Came and went, but it came out. We know where his heart really is. He knows what his real masterpiece is. Oh, we need to know. He done, bro. It's he over, done. G. It's, look, look, Hunter look, Hunter man. is probably a, a really good show that I'll never know because I cannot stand y'all fan base. And that's one of the main reasons why I don't watch that show is because I really don't like y'all. Oh, uh, like y'all are on par and sometimes even worse than One Piece. And I don't even know how that's you know how possible. how hard that is? <laughs> that's pretty damn hard to do. 
But yeah, man, the thousand days and counting, G. I can't wait till we get to fifteen hundred, G. The two thousand. I'm t- I'm t- I don't think. G. Listen, oh, we getting, man. We let it be GTA two thousand days because I already see the vision. <laughs> we already gonna be well established. We're doing a live stream of that day. <laughs> We're gonna do a countdown until it gets to two. <laughs> when the clock hits midnight, New York Knicks win a championship before Hunter Hunter comes back. That's disgusting. GTA <laughs> Six is coming out. Persona Six is coming out. Kingdom Hearts Four is coming out. Let's be specific. Kingdom Hearts Three Point Six Point Four 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 is coming out. <laughs> we can't. Kingdom Hearts Three Point Eight and Four are coming out. The Buddha y'all... Tenkaichi Trilogy remake is coming out. <laughs> y'all get a hundred, hundred chapter G. Oda hey, you might know be done. Hey, you know Oda wild. will be done with One Piece. Before. You know, they know it's wild. It is. This isn't. This isn't like. I'm not like. I'm not trying to meet. Don't, don't deep too deeply on this. Is just this is like a base joke. Is the fact that Berserk is confirmed to get a chapter coming out September next 10th. Month, the next yep. chapter. The, I think they said it's the last chapter. Um, that the author did before he passed away, sadly. Like, Berserk fans are continuing to get something from them from their series, and it's like, at least and the the best y'all could do for Togashi is at least tell him, listen, get an interview with him and say, do you care about the series anymore? <laughs> like, because like, that it's like it's like y'all are in a position that like Half Life fans are. Like Half Life fans want th- want uh was it Half Life Two Episode three. three so badly they want it so bad and Val refuses to comment on the existence of that game refuses. At this point, all y'all need is my man Togashi to just come out and just say, "Hey, listen, Sailor Moon, is that is that it? Is that the future of Hunter Hunter?" And if he says, "Listen, I." You've got to accept it, man. I think y'all just, y'all holding on to that tiny sliver of hope, but y'all need to realize that ain't no hope, bro. It's a thousand days, G. <laughs> it's a ribbon in the sky. Like a ribbon in the sky. Shout out to Stevie Wonder. Go on. Was that, hey, was that our clown? That was our clown, right? Yes. A universal clown, yeah. yeah universal clown. I don't really have like, Hey, like I said, I ain't never gonna watch that series. I can't joke on I can joke on niggas. Fuck them niggas, but I can never really say if the show was bad or not because, you know, I never seen it. But and it's not and it's not finished. I, yeah, that and it's not finished. <laughs> finished so. Every show except for Villain Saga and this, you know, fuck them niggas if you say, oh blah, 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 blah. oh yeah, and Tokyo Ghoul is the only two shows that's not finished on my list. So Chris, Chris, favorite anime of all time, you know. I mean, it, it finished and it had several OVAs, dog, and it was made by the same dude. The Either fact way, that he was finished. the ever <laughs> several OVAs that some people consider arcs. The show and canon, bro, that's your wild. <laughs> that's different, but at least regardless, the man finished it. Either way, he takes pride in that. And he came out with a future, like years later, he came out with another uh, OVA. For the series G, to so give he, y'all he more. come out with an OVA for that fucking show before he even thought about making another episode. Yeah, another another chapter, Hunter Hunter. He was like, what "Hey, I'm gonna give y'all you you." <laughs> I, told you, I, I where honestly his heart think is. it's one of them cases that's, where he that's don't. Where his heart. I don't think he cares about that series anymore, and I think I think y'all fans just go have to. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I think. But chalk think, it up, I G, because that's a thousand days. I mean, I understand health issues. Don't get me wrong, but a thousand days and not a word. About the series, except for the fact y'all getting an escape room. I don't think he cares, bro. I don't think he cares about that series no more. Okay to admit that, G. Fine. Bleach fans were like that. Then one day Kubo said, All right, they, fix, they fix my mess. <laughs> they fix my mess real quick. But it's okay. Uh, any of y'all got other clowns? Hell no. Oh, the My Hero fan base. What they do? Um, that statistic that came out. Oh yeah, that statistic where uh, yo, did y'all see that fucking TikTok of dude going around? I meant to put that in the chat of dude going around who you ship Deku with. It was everybody but Udaraka, bro. It was fucking. I'm telling you, I'm wow. telling you. It's so many sides to the story, and I'm gonna make it concise. But it's just my my class just goes to the my hero fam in general, just in general, right? 
Because first, I, I don't know if I take this statistic. Because this is about the movie, right? Yes, it's about the movie. Yeah, this is about the movie. It's like, I mean, sure, I guess. Like, you know, the movie did go number one in Japan's box office. Yeah, it's like, it's like one of those things where it's like, it's only available in Japan. And, like, it's a non canon movie. So, like, who really cares if 76.5%? It's like a lot of arguments of people going, like, it's like I realize that Shonen is not restricted. It's targeted. Yeah. It's targeted towards young men, young Japanese men specifically. That's what shonens are targeted for. That's their target audience. Yeah. That does not mean that it's not. It's not like if you're a female and you click on my hero on Crunchyroll, it goes like, well, based off of our data and our statistics, it indicates that you are a female in the United States. You can't watch this show. Because this is only for boys in, in Japan. Like, n- it's not like that. Like, girls can watch anime, too. Um, so if you, are, if you are mad that more girls are watching My Hero than boys, like, nigga, who, who cares, dog? One, it actually, <laughs> no. Look, I want to say this right now. If you hate My Hero, technically you hate bitches. So, but I also would like to say hey. there's, another, <laughs> there's another show. There's another show. That actually generates more female fan base than my hero. Fucking Naruto. Is oh my fucking gosh. Insane, yeah. bro. Every bro, from casuals to heart, they all love Naruto. Like the female fan base is Naruto is wild. And for some apparent reason, they still hate Sakura. Um, but yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. it's like, it's, 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 it's just dumb. And then it's like another side of it is, yeah, the shippers. Like, <laughs> oh my God, dog. Like, it's like, it's not even, okay. So not to get too toxic in my, in my masculinity, in my straight black masculinity. I'm sorry if I offended you, uh, Twitter 2021. Um, but, like, it is a known fact. A known fact that when it comes to shipping, I'm not saying all, I'm saying majority is female-based. Like, in terms of, like, females are the main ones who ship, right? And then you remember when we talked about the double standard of anime a while back? You got these females out here shipping underage boys, regardless of if it's with a girl or a boy. Got them doing that when it comes to the My Hero. And that shit is annoying. It is. Like, if you want to have a genuine discussion about My Hero and then somebody comes out and goes like, well, who you ship Deku with? It's like, nigga, no one cares. Like, this nigga Deku is out here fighting for his life in the, in the manga right now. You also have to factor in manga to anime. If it comes out that majority of uh, females watch the anime as opposed to the mod, it's like because probably the, the the young boys is just what is or everybody else just reading the manga and nobody wants to watch a slideshow because if ain't nothing impactful happening in the anime, I already read it in the manga. I'm going to move on. So it's like this. It's like we you reading too deep into it. Oh, um, is what it is. I mean, I'm not offended by it. I just find it. I'm. I'm definitely. Inter- I'm definitely interested in where they got the t- statistics from. That's my main thing. And then also, I would like to see an update on the statistics when they release it worldwide. I think that would be more interesting to see, like if it's just a Japan thing or is it global. Um, Hope for you to see that in 2023, Masuya. Oh, yeah. you're definitely not getting that. <laughs> when did Demon Slayer came out in Japan? And we just we just got it now officially in 2021 and it's in on streaming. Yeah. I think it was like 2019, right? Like 2019. No, it wasn't even 2019, it was 2020. It was it was 2020 before COVID hit. I don't remember. Let me let me see exactly because I just remembered Demon Slayer was just going fucking crazy with the numbers though. Demon Slayer movie. Release. Eight. Japan. Yes. When did it come out in Japan? Uh, October twenty. Yeah, October sixteenth. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Yeah. Yeah, we just we just now get yeah from yeah twenty it, what and, it, and came it came out. out here yeah, we're not getting that to like twenty twenty two late twenty twenty two. Yeah, because we got it worldwide. It came out. 
yeah, so yeah, it came out around late, so around like what, Mar May, June, right? Yeah, it came out like May or June of here, yeah. around May or June, so yeah. So yeah, like 20, yeah, like 2022, early 2022 at the earliest, maybe February-ish. So, yeah. Yeah, so what's or if you or if you know some ways and you know saying the, the streets, you know, streets do talk. The streets you know what talk. What you know? <laughs> so go ahead, do it. And also shout out to the villain arc that's coming out. Exactly, that K, the the shining point of this goddamn uh of that of this arc. I'm only I'm only gonna watch the part where Sugar Rocky turns the city into a pack. I'm not gonna watch anything. Oh, else then you got I, you, you got a whole leagues away. <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I said. But I, I've learned thanks to Day Trail. Yeah, I've just learned not to get my hopes up when it comes to that show. Even when it comes to I moments. have not so I'm, even though I, I even though I really like the villain arc, I'm just I I don't expect them to do anything that's gonna blow my mind except Sugar Rocky turning shit, the city into a pack. That villain arc will legit be background because I like it too. That shit will legit be background noise, my nigga. And then Sugar Rocky blow the arc like that. Yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on YouTube, see if Funimation <laughs> or Crunchyroll posted up that. Two minute clip of Sugar Rocky turning the city into a pack. I'm be like, all right, cool. That's all I needed. He says so. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll see where things go with my hero. Cause yo, that yeah. shit catching up to the manga so fucking fast, dog. It is. Yeah. It really is. But you see where it go. But uh, I think that's it for this week. Yep. So that's it for this. But week. grow up, dudes. That's the lesson. Grow up. Let the females like anime too. Exactly. Let let. The, I don't got that fifty cent thing, but it's for the. Bitches, for the bitch. Loki, Loki. Sometimes my hero is for the bitches, bro. Exactly. And it is for the dudes. So let them be great. But we appreciate you guys for listening. As always, make sure you follow us on Twitter at the Black Otaku for all our random uh, takes on things. As Titans yeah. drop, I will be doing my live tweets on there. Cam got his One Piece things and shit like that. So, and also I'm just gonna continue pissing off these fan bases. Fuck Rock Lee. Fuck them hunt hunt ass niggas G. Be that way. So hey. But anyway, make sure you follow us on our Twitter page. If you're on watching us on YouTube, what did they just throw in the group chat? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking in this comment section for. Peace out, y'all. That's yeah, all folks. <laughs> yeah, 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 G. If you if you watch us on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. If you uh watch if you just listen to listen to the podcast in itself. Whatever platform, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. We appreciate you. This nigga's wild. <laughs> like, you know, Johnny. Just, <laughs> this is this dumb. When I'm about to bleed him out, I see you get a hat out. Yeah, like, girl, let me find out. Yeah, yeah, I'm in the Porsche when I ride out. Yeah, she been drip from the high horse with the doors out. Leave the doors out, let them see it if they want it now. If a real nigga hold you down, then you better drown. Shoot it now, I got her, she ain't gotta make a sound. Real nigga since day one, no, I stayed down. I wasn't making a sound, girl, I've been there since the